FM Midvale, KSL Salt Lake City. This is KSL News Radio, Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 5 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Opening arguments begin in just a few hours in the trial of Chad Daybell. It's a case with even higher legal stakes than the Lori Vallow Daybell trial. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston joins us live. Peter? And the brand new jury will take their seats today and legal teams will set the groundwork for what could be a months long trial. Chad Daybell faces the death penalty. A case of legal analyst Greg Scorda says that could make jurors think much more than usual about handing down a conviction. I think when you think of a criminal case as being beyond a reasonable doubt, it's uh, well beyond a reasonable doubt when a jury is considering the, the, of the, the punishment judicial of, district of the state of Idaho. Yeah. Chad's wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, got three consecutive life sentences for crimes, including the murder of her two children and Chad's previous wife. Scordis adds that if Daybell gets a guilty ruling, his legal team will almost certainly be filing appeals that could last at least a decade. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Just a reminder, we do have a team in Idaho to cover the opening statements today in the Chad Daybell trial. Our Adam Small will have a live report from Boise coming up at uh, 7 and 8, and our legal analyst Greg Scordis will join us live at 645. Human remains found in a remote part of Box Elder County are presumed to belong to a young man who was killed almost two years ago. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with more. Michael? Amanda, 19 year old Dylan Rounds was working in the western part of the county when he went missing back in May of 2022 following an odd run in with a stranger. That stranger, James Brenner, was later charged of aggregated murder and destru- a desecration of a human body. Rounds' remains, uh, Rounds' presumed remains, were discovered near the ghost town of Lucen. The remains are now with the state medical examiner to confirm whether they truly belong to Rounds. The sheriff's office offered their sincerest condolences to the family for what has been a quote exceptionally challenging case. Close quote. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour: fallout in Arizona this morning after the state supreme court upheld a law from 1864 that bans abortion in nearly all circumstances. Arizona's Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs is urging voters to have the final say this fall. To the people across Arizona who are concerned about the future of abortion rights in our state, who are worried about their bodily autonomy, who don't want to see the freedom of their wives, sisters, and daughters restricted, you can make your concerns known at the ballot box, and I encourage you to do so. The only exception for an abortion in the law is if the mother's life is in danger. The law is set to take effect in two weeks. Political analyst Mike O'Neill at our sister station KTAR in Phoenix says the court ruling will bring a lot of attention and people to the ballot box this November. The first impact of this is likely to be a huge boost for the citizen initiative to enshrine abortion rights in the Arizona Constitution. He says the proposed constitutional amendment guarantees a woman's right to get an abortion until about 24 weeks of pregnancy. Local medical students will be working with the Provo City School District to offer kids free health screenings. Here's KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson. The program is named after Provo Mayor Michelle Kafusi, who says this is a great opportunity to bring health care access to those who may not have it. It's going to be an opportunity to receive the free annual opt-in health screenings, but they will especially be beneficial for the low-income and under-resourced communities. Dr. Norman Wright, president of Norda College of Osteopathic Medicine, says this is also great experience for their medical students to work with kids. It's something they're well qualified to do. But even at that, this will also be staffed by licensed physicians who will be overseeing things. The first health screening fair will be at Timpanogos Elementary School on May 1st for the families who opt in. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. KSL Weather with Matt Johnson. Get ready for a nice warm-up. We should see a high today of 62. But then we see above normal temperatures with 71 on Thursday, 78 on Friday, and a perfect 75 on Saturday with plenty of sunshine. Let's see what the roads look like with first look traffic this morning. Hi, Andy. Hey, Tim. They're off to a very nice start so far today down in the valleys, I-15, and the city streets surrounding it uh, looking just uh, delay-free. You might see heavy traffic on I-80 through Parley's Canyon, but uh, road conditions are good through the canyon. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A middle school girl in Lehigh may have saved the life of another student back in November. Lehigh Police School Resource Officer Corporal Jake Smith tells KSL TV he received a tip from the girl that another student had a gun. I did a search of the backpack and found a 45 caliber handgun in his backpack. The officer says he found disturbing notes in the student's backpack. 
Smith worked with the boy's mother to get him into a treatment facility. Changes to the WIC program, women, infants, and children, means more uh, produce and less dairy. This will be the first change in the WIC program in a decade. Joe Dale uh, Gilman uh, Park, Utah's VIC vendor manager. Uh, the, the new changes offer more choices to make sure that WIC participants have access to all of the essential nutrients that they need to support healthy growth and development. Gallman Park says uh, this will help those with different dietary needs, such as those with lactose intolerance or cultural food preferences. Evermore, the fantasy-themed park in Utah County is closing. This is the same park, you might remember, that had a short legal battle with Taylor Swift in 2021 oh, over yeah. the name Evermore. Right, both sides eventually dropped their, their lawsuits. Brandon Fugel owns the land Evermore sits on and says this closure comes after years of struggle. And between COVID and challenges with their operating model, they have uh, defaulted and have been evicted. From the property. Fugel says they will repurpose the park for a new project with a new group already under contract. Freeways are looking good throughout the valley. Some eastbound slowing on I-80, however, at uh, Parley Summit. We'll see if we can tell what's going on there. Traffic and weather together next. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. Getting help with electrical repairs is easier than you think. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services or schedule an appointment at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Boyd Matheson. Listening to inside sources is a little different from just reading the headlines because we're always going to get you into that think again moment. We have experts from around the country, across the world, and right here local to home that'll help us dive in and get past just the hype, the fluff, the fake fights, and the false choice so we can get into the news to help you connect the dots and make the news make sense. Join inside sources with Boyd Matheson, 1 to 3, on KSL News Radio. My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on the vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. This is going to be a long slog to get through this trial of Chad Daybell in uh, Boise, Idaho, but just know that we'll have coverage for you. Uh, Team coverage coming up this morning, and our Adam Small and Greg Scordis are both here in Boise to start the morning. 509, time for a look at traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy, uh, off to a good start, it looks like. Yep, crash-free through the valley this morning. Light traffic for the most part and great road conditions. That equals if you're out and about just after 5 a.m., You can get to your destination fairly quickly. Uh, There's not even any extra heavy traffic right now on Mountain View or Bangor or Highway so far. Heather? It's the same up north in Weburn Davis County. Not a lot of traffic on I-15, US-89, Legacy Parkway. City streets are pretty quiet as well, including getting into Hill Air Force Base. Eric? Looks good in Utah County on I-15. No problems from Santa Quin up to Point of the Mountain. Now, if you're coming out of Juab County, you do have a crash about three miles north of Mona. uh, So that may be something for you to be paying attention 
attention to uh, if you're listening to this or know somebody traveling up this way. But uh, overall, things are looking pretty good down south. With Two Brothers Mattress's low price guarantee and their 100-night trial, your locally owned Two Brothers Mattress is your number one choice for certain mattresses. Learn more at TwoBrothersMattress.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Temperatures will be near normal for this time of year. 62 for the high, sunny skies, high pressure building. Overnight, we'll drop off to 43. Tomorrow, 71 and sunny skies. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Partly cloudy out there to start the morning, 43 degrees. Coming up in just a moment, the first change to the Scrabble game in 75 years. And people are beside themselves. I I don't get what the big deal is, but I guess we're going to figure it out. Jim Ryan joins us to talk about it next on KSL. Stay with us and remember to watch for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters. But then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited leaffilter.com slash beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit leaffilter.com slash beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Did you know that feeling sluggish or weighed down could be a sign that your digestive system isn't working at its best? Taking Metamucil every day can help. Metamucil fiber powders help promote your daily digestive health using a plant-based fiber called psyllium. The gelling action of this special fiber traps and removes waste so you can feel lighter and more energetic. Metamucil, promoting digestive health for a better you. Learn more at metamucil.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, this is Doug Wright. Over the years, I've talked a lot about hard water takes years off the life of water heaters and other appliances in your home. Leaves scum on the shower walls, and you almost need a jackhammer to remove that. I've talked about how Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer, their water softeners are maintenance-free. You just don't need adjustment, and they do the job with two-thirds less salt than other softeners. But today, I want to talk about the exhilarating feeling of stepping into a hot bath or shower and feeling that pure, soft water cascade over your skin. It feels like every pore in your body wants to stand up and start singing. And afterward, there are no itchy hard water deposits sticking all over you. You really should look into a soft water system from Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. You can learn more about Kinetico by giving them a call at 801-576-8600 or log on to Softwater Utah. Kinetico of Utah, an authorized Kinetico dealer. Then sit back and enjoy your shower even more. Over the years, you've brought them into your home. You were prescribed opioids after the C-section, when dad injured his back, when your basketball star tore his ACL. Opioids helped with the pain, and you held on to them just in case. But did you know holding on to unused opioids puts your family at risk? Opioids are powerful pain-reducing prescription medicines, but most people who are prescribed opioids don't finish their prescriptions. So millions of unused opioids are sitting in homes across the country, and tragically, more than 100 Americans die every day from overdoses involving opioids. What can you do to protect your family? Remove the risk of unused opioids from your home. Pills, patches, or syrups in drawers, purses, and cabinets, anywhere they might be hiding. To find out how to dispose of them properly, visit www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. Dave and Dijanovic. One person described it like this. I like having a thousand one-minute conversations. So often we think we've got to dive in head first and know everything before we can speak on something. No, we can have a bunch of little conversations. There's more than one opinion and more than one opinion or viewpoint matters. I want our listeners to walk away from the show knowing that more than one opinion is valid. Listen for Dave and Dijanovic 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 515. The three things you need to know this hour. First, a brand new jury will hear the opening arguments in the Chad Daybill trial this morning. And if convicted, he faces the death penalty. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, human remains found in a remote part of Box Elder County are presumed to belong to a young man who went missing almost two years ago. 
3rd, it's traffic and weather together. Got a good speeds going on I-15 this morning, whether you're in uh, Utah County, Salt Lake County, or Davis County. And uh, so far, quiet on the city streets as well. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll jump another 5 to 7 degrees today with a high of 62. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now it's 45 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. A near total ban on abortion in the state of Arizona. The Supreme Court there upholding a Civil War era law making abortion punishable by prison time. Here's ABC's Rachel Scott. A law written in 1864, before Arizona was even a state, and before women had the right to vote. It outlaws nearly all abortions, the only exception to protect the life of the mother. Outrage from Arizona's Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs. And the near total Civil War era ban that continues to hang over our heads only serves to create more chaos for women and doctors in our state. Under the law, doctors who perform abortions could face up to five years in prison. The law on hold now for 14 days, pending a lower court review. An investigation is underway in the city of Chicago after a deadly police shooting last month. Police body cam video has just now been released, showing 26-year-old Dexter Reed being pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt. ABC's Andrea Fuji on what happened next. Five plainclothes tactical officers surrounded Reed's SUV with guns drawn. One is heard yelling command. Open the door now! Open the door now! Open! That's when investigators say Reed fired at officers, hitting one in the wrist. And that's when officers opened fire on him, shooting 96 shots in 41 seconds, killing Reed. Boeing says new whistleblower revelations are not new. The FAA investigating claims that shortcuts were taken during the manufacturing of the 787 Dreamliner. ABC News aviation consultant Steve Ganyard. Boeing says that these issues were taken care of years ago. So right now, the onus is on the FAA to tell the flying public is this a new problem or has it already been dealt with? President Biden calling Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's handling of the war in Gaza a grave mistake during an interview with Univision. You're listening to ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. Mattel, oh boy, is releasing a new version of Scrabble for the first time in 75 years. ABC News correspondent Jim Ryan joins us live. What's new about it, Jim? Well, the rules are different, the board is different, uh, but it's an alternate. I mean, you, you don't have to play this new version called uh, Scrabble together. You can play the old version. Uh, in fact, this uh, this new iteration has a two-sided board on one side, the old traditional Scrabble with the same point system, the same uh, uh, multiple uh, point tiles, multiple point squares on the board. And the other side is different, though. It, there is no scoring in, tra- in Scrabble together. There are clues that are offered in cards that are uh, handed out to the players. You can play in teams, which is kind of interesting. So that may kind of uh, even the, the playing field, if you will. Uh, but uh, yeah, there are critics to it, of course. But this is the first change that's been made, the first major change to Scrabble that's come since they started rolling it out 75 years ago, Amanda. It's kind of funny to look at uh, some of the upset on social media about this. I played this game as a kid because my mom was a teacher, Mm. and she thought it was important for us to expand our vocabulary, and I guess that's the reason behind the change here. Well, they're, they're, they're looking to make it more inclusive. It is, right. And Gen Z players, you know, and, and they've got Gen Z players have all sorts of distractions, don't they? They've got devices and they've got games on their devices and word games like Words with Friends and Wordle, I mean, which have proven extremely popular. So it's not as though word games in and of themselves are not popular, but physical board games have kind of lost some of their luster over the years. And Mattel, which markets uh, Scrabble in the UK and across Europe, uh, has been struggling a bit. Yes, Barbie and the the movie and the sales of Barbie dolls and accessories after that were a major boom. But now Mattel is looking at kind of cutting back on some spending this year. So uh, Mattel is, is offering this new Scrabble version, Scrabble Together in Europe. It's, the pr- problem is that here in, in the U.S., Hasbro has the rights to Scrabble. So And Hasbro doesn't have the same arra- arrangement yet, so it doesn't have uh, Scrabble together in this country. Mm. So far, it's only available in Europe. I didn't realize there was that split between these two companies, but, but there it is. Do you happen to know, Jim, is there a digital version of Scrabble that people play? 
Well, if you look at Words with Friends, yeah, you know, and there are there are also versions you can purchase of purely Scrabble, like other games, like uh, Yahtzee and Monopoly. There are digital versions of those games, but they they pretty much stick to their original iterations. This is different in that they're taking the old game, the old board game, the physical board game, literally flipping it over, and on that side you come up with this new version. This is uh, Scrabble is, is found in 28 languages. 165 million games have been sold in 120 countries since 1948. A couple of fine, uh, funny uh, facts here. We used to play this game, and I think most people do, with yeah. a dictionary sitting on the table. Yeah. And so, so uh, they, they just look. 75% of those between the ages of 25 and 34 had to look up certain words while they were playing, and yeah. half of everybody said they made words up. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, we used to have arguments, but that's not a word. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's great stuff. Uh, Jim, thanks uh, for your reporting on this this morning. ABC News correspondent uh, Jim Ryan in Dallas on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. Let's get another look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back over to you, Andy. Amanda, looking pretty good on the most of the streets in Salt Lake County. I'm seeing some heavy traffic now on Mountain View Corridor going from uh, 62 to 5400 south. But I-15 all clear and so far so good out of Tooele on both I-80 and 21st South. Heather? No delays right now through Weber and Davis County on city streets and major freeways. If you're hopping on I-84 going through the mountains to and from Morgan, no problems there. Also accent free on I-15 both northbound and southbound between Ogden and Salt Lake. Eric. No difficulties right now on I-15 in Utah County. It's a 22-minute drive from Springville to Point of the Mountain. The major feeders heading over to the freeway looking good if you're on Eagle Mountain or Saratoga Springs. This is a good time of the day. No difficulties on 2100 North or Pioneer Crossing uh, eastbound to the freeway. Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. Eric. Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 8 forecast looking pretty good, if I say so myself. 62 today, sunny skies, up to 71 tomorrow, sunny. Mostly sunny on Friday, a couple of clouds scooting in here, but a mild high of 78. We dial it back to 75, mostly sunny on Saturday. Sunday, 69, partly cloudy. A little California storm tries to move on in here on Monday, 63, still just mostly cloudy. We drop to 60 on Tuesday with more clouds. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees downtown this hour and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. I was joking with my students the other day. They all listen to podcasts, these college students. Oh, yeah. And I said, you know, radio is sort of like a live podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Only it's live. It's happening right now. And so we went back and forth on that. But I, I thought our listeners, <clears throat> excuse me, should know. If you miss the newscast and you want to listen to the most recent newscast, you can do that in podcast form. Yeah, very easily. Uh, and I'll tell you, the best way to do it is to download the KSL News Radio app. Yeah. And you can listen to all of your favorite uh, shows and actually discover a whole lot of other podcasts that are out there right. li living in this uh, sphere right now. Or just look up Utah's Morning News wherever you get your podcasts, and there is a podcast of Utah's Morning News. And then when it's, because we like everything on demand, so then when it's convenient for you to listen to the most recent newscast, you can do that. It's just frightening you had to explain that to your uh, <laughs> student of the year. <laughs> you gotta kick out of that. This is what radio is It's a morning. live podcast. Ooh. All right, coming up in a minute, we'll check Money News. Stay with us. Are you ready for the security implications of Microsoft Copilot? Learn at the annual WebCheck Cyber Summit, April 25th. Register today at webcheckSecurity.com. That's webcheckSecurity.com. Jazz fans, secure your seats for the next NBA season by getting season tickets. Season ticket members get special perks like team store discounts, savings on in-arena concessions, and more. Be there for every moment during the 2024-25 season by calling or texting 801-355-DUNK today. 801-355-DUNK. Let's go, Jazz. Most of us like to be out in the sun. That's why sunscreen and other safety measures are key to protecting your skin from aging and cancer. The FDA recommends using a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher. Also, look for broad spectrum on the label. That means both harmful ultraviolet A and B rays are blocked. Remember, SPF plus broad spectrum equal healthy fun in the sun. 
Visit www.fda.gov sunscreen for more information. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The average text takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop texts, stoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Watching Utah's Bunny brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. I was so excited to see this for them. Utah Valley University broke ground on a $20 million soccer stadium. Oh, right. Is that so cool? Yeah. The money to build it came from a donation from Utah Community Credit Union, which is awesome. It should be ready to play for the 2025 season. That's great. Uh, it's not just a Costco craze. Everyone is suddenly buying gold. Did you see you can buy bars of gold at Costco? At Costco, yeah. And I guess people are doing it. The uh, price of gold is up 16.5% year over year, reaching $2,364 an ounce. Speaking of gold, did you see the buildings lit up in gold last night? Yeah, downtown? that's a great thing. Just Are they doing that for the IOC members? Welcoming the IOC members to town. Delta Center was involved yeah, in that too. Yeah, a bunch of the buildings in downtown Salt Lake. Remember when they when they did twenty years ago? They did the the what do they call all the big that? murals? The murals yeah. on the side of all the buildings of the skaters and yeah. the curlers, which and, then became a thing in other Olympics around the world. And the company that actually did that here in Utah. Found business ongoing oh, at other Olympic awesome. Games. Yeah. We'll be talking more, of course, about the IOC members here today. If you're listening and you're a member of the IOC, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. KSL Drives Toyota is the latest automaker that wants customers to be able to change the color of their cars. It's not paint or vinyl wrapping, but good old heat and light. The thermal technology will have drivers go through a tunnel-like garage where the paint will be heated and change color. Huh. Well, uh, we were talking gold a minute ago. It's up another buck eighty an ounce at twenty three sixty four twenty, and uh, Costco's gold and silver sales they say are boosting their same store uh, same store sales uh, right now. But profit remains elusive, which is kind of interesting. The um, futures markets are all in the green this morning. The Dow is up sixty eight. The S and P is up just six and a quarter, and the Nasdaq on the plus side this hour by about seventeen. Looks pretty quiet out there, Tim. I'm just looking at the UDOT cameras, and I don't see too many folks on the road yet. But we'll check it. Traffic and weather together coming up next. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. April in Utah means warmer temps, spring runoff, and yes, road work. For every spring surprise, rely on KSL News Radio. Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon cover what happened overnight from 5 to 9. Dave and Debbie and Boyd Matheson have in-depth conversation during the day. And Jeff Kaplan takes you home with his trademark minute of news. All season, every day. We have you covered on KSL News Radio. Coming up on 529, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth. Tim, so far, no crashes through Salt Lake County. Freeway's a 20-minute uh, drive from Bluffdale to downtown. Coming out of Tooele, 10 minutes between Lake Point and the airport, though there's a little bit of heavy traffic. SR 36 coming up on those Stansbury Park intersections. Heather? No problems in Weber and Davis County. So far, we've got a smooth commute with not a whole lot of traffic right now on I-15 Legacy Parkway or the West Side Belt. City streets are pretty quiet as well, including trying to get into Hill Air Force Base. Eric? Utah County looks fine on I-15 if you're coming up 
northbound through Juab County, about three miles north of Mona. We do have a crash that's still being tended to, so something to pay attention to if you're heading towards Santa Quinn. Uh, outside of that, in the Wasatch Bank, everything is looking uh, pretty good, too. Just a touch of northbound slowing on US-40 uh, going by the north part of Jordanel Reservoir. Is the IRS harassing you? Are tax problems ruining your life? Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Let's get a look at that weather forecast. Man, it's going to be nice today. Sunny and 62. It's almost 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. We'll get up to 71 on Thursday. Friday is the warmest of the next seven. We'll get close to 80 degrees on Friday, 78 degrees for a high. Then we start to come back down through the weekend, though it's still in the 70s. The weekend will be gorgeous. 75 Saturday, 70 on Sunday. We're back in the 60s with more clouds and a chance of rain early next week. So we'll watch out for that and update the forecast. Of course, we always do that throughout the day here on KSL. This morning, it's about 10 degrees warmer than it was yesterday at this time. We have fair skies and 45 degrees. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time 5:30. KSL's top story this hour. Breaking news on KSL: Some people in parts of Garfield County are being told to prepare to evacuate this morning because of a crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. Emergency workers were at the site of the dam all night long. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson begins our live team coverage. A flash flood watch was issued last night after a crack was found on the top two feet of the dam that flows from Panguitch Lake. We've noticed that there's some transverse cracking across the dam. Garfield County Sergeant Tom Talbot says the damage seems to have come from ice in that top portion. Deputies say damage to the dam is not yet severe enough to warrant immediate evacuations. Just to be on the safe side, they've closed a stretch of SR 143 and accessed Panguitch Lake. An evacuation map was released last night, and deputies say it is important for nearby residents make sure they have emergency kits to include water, food, medication, and important documents. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Dam failures have happened in Utah in the past. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit continues our live team coverage. Michael? Tim, what we're seeing, what we're seeing near Panguitch isn't as new to Utah and neighboring states as you'd suspect. Most recently, the 21-mile dam failed in Elko County, Nevada, back in February in 2017. Montella was flooded, but we only saw road damage in Utah's extreme northwest. But what was definitely more noticeable was the lob detention dam break in 2012. Severe storms and rain led up to the dam failure, and many homes, businesses, and roads paid the price. Now, fortunately, nobody's died from a dam break since the 80s. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. The International Olympic Committee kicks off its tour of Utah's venues for the 2034 Winter Games today. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with a preview. Peter? Amanda, Olympics officials want to see firsthand what Utah's infrastructure looks like a decade out from the Games, and they're going to get a show. Businesses from the Gateway to the Grand America are lighting up their fronts with gold light in honor of the officials' visit. First, they'll take a seat in Rice Eccles Stadium at the University of Utah for an opening presentation this morning. And then they're going to board a special tracks train that runs from Fort Douglas to the Delta Center, according to a news release from the Salt Lake City, Utah Committee for the Games. Over the next couple of days, the officials will be visiting all the legacy Olympic sites, including Snow Basin, Soldier Hollow, and the Olympic Oval in Kearns. They're going to be capping off this trip on the 13th. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. We were talking about this a moment ago, but downtown Salt Lake City transformed uh, and took on a golden hue overnight, and you can still see some of it this morning. The transformation of those buildings is all part of the effort to showcase Utah to the International Olympic Committee. Lighting up the buildings downtown in gold in celebration of, of course, with the Olympics, the gold medal, the top spot. And we continue to be optimistic that Utah will be the top spot for the 2034 Winter Games. Salt Lake Chamber President and CEO Derek Miller says those buildings will continue to be lit up through Saturday while the IOC members are in town for a final evaluation before awarding the Games. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. For news involving the Olympics this morning, track and field is set to become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Olympics. The prize money will come out of the share of Olympic revenue that the IOC distributes to world athletics and other governing bodies of individual sports. Track and field gold medalists will get $50,000 across 48 events. Relay teams will split the $50,000 between the team members. Payments for silver and bronze medalists are planned to start happening in the 2028 Games in Los Angeles. I just wonder how much of this is because of the NIL. You know, it used to be that you couldn't pay athletes yeah. as amateurs. 
uh, because then they would automatically be pros. But now all of these kids that are playing college sports are being paid. You know, they get around, the Olympics gets around it with countries that pay their, their oh, yeah. medalists and have for years. Yeah. And I wonder if they're just trying to even that out a little bit. Well, and this will be in addition, evidently, yeah, for to those what those countries, countries are already paying. Mm -hmm. KSL's top national stories is how our House Speaker Mike Johnson is delaying the articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas until at least next week. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he's ready to go when the articles of impeachment are transmitted from the House. He says he's going to try to resolve this as quickly as possible. As I said in the past, it's absurd and there are no charges uh, in the uh, House complaint that rise to the level of impeachment. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy says he expects the trial to be dismissed. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. First look traffic now takes us back over to you, Andy. Amanda, travel on I-15 has been clear this morning uh, from Ogden to Salt Lake. 30 minutes travel time, 25 minutes between American Fork and downtown. And uh, going through the canyon has been pretty quiet. Good road conditions everywhere. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A child tax credit bill is stalling in the Senate after some major changes. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. This bill builds on the $78 billion Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act. It passed in the House shortly after the year started. It would increase the child tax credit, multiplying it on a per-child basis and adjusting the credit amount for inflation. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo helped start the bill, but after changes to allow unemployed parents to cash in on the credit, he's killing it. He said the change transforms the credit from a working family tax relief into a government subsidy. Senator Mitt Romney is also opposing the bill, saying it will end up being another, quote, hugely expensive entitlement program. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. Almost half of all caregivers in Utah are reporting emotional and financial stress. KSL News Radio's Emma Keddington has more. Utah's unpaid family and friend caregivers balance a lot, and according to a new report from the Kemsey Gardner Institute, they're feeling the effects. Four in ten caregivers report feeling stressed financially and experience mental health concerns. Many need to make changes in how they work. More than a third of caregivers need to work virtually because of the care they provide for a loved one. Many indicate that government-funded financial support would be helpful. The report says family members jumping into help the primary caregiver can help reduce the workload or stress but what do you do if you have no family members yeah and you're caring for like in my situation i have a daughter with down syndrome and you're caring for that person for the rest of your and their life with no family support it is a stress and we had this uh, in our family with a cancer diagnosis mm -hmm. as you know yeah. that went on for only a year but i'm kind of surprised that it's only half of all caregivers that are expressing yeah this because it it's Stressful, stressful everybody emotionally you know time wise mm -hmm. financially Sexual for everybody for sure the uh, former treasurer of a homeowners association is facing jail time now for embezzlement sharon gordon pled guilty to stealing more than two hundred thirty thousand dollars while she was the treasurer for the lava bluff hoa a release from the united states attorney's office says gordon diverted funds directly to her personal account wrote checks to herself and her boyfriend and then forged the signatures of other board members and deposited hoa checks representing member fees directly into her own account in addition to spending a year and a day in home confinement, Gordon is required to pay nearly $80,000 in restitution. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. KSL News Time now is 5:37. We're going to get a another look at traffic and weather together in just a moment. It looked pretty quiet out there the last time we checked, and uh, we'll get another look at it just ahead. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. Imagine this. You're at home, at work, or at school, and you hear a low rumble. Things are falling and breaking. You feel scared and confused. What do you do? How do you protect yourself and your loved ones? Earthquakes are a real and serious threat in Utah. According to the Utah Geological Survey, there's a 57% chance of a magnitude 6.0 or greater earthquake occurring in the Wasatch Front region in the next 50 years. That's why we invite you to join the world's largest earthquake drill, the Great Utah Shakeout, on April 18th, and practice the proven and recommended protective action. Drop cover and hold on. Register at shakeout.org slash Utah and be counted with over 1 million people in Utah who will drop, cover, and hold on at 10.15 a.m. on April 18th. 
The Great Utah Shakeout is for everyone and is an initiative of the Utah Division of Emergency Management. Find excellent resources to plan your drill and to prepare for an earthquake at shakeout.org slash Utah. If you're just joining us this morning, boy, we're going to keep a close eye on this. We mentioned this yesterday morning, but this uh, crack that they found in the Panguitch Lake Dam, mm-hmm. evidently a bigger concern this morning than it was yesterday about this time. Isn't that something? And they've actually talked about uh, putting people down below that dam on standby for a possible evacuation. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're going to have more on that. Our Mark Jackson is following the story this morning. 539 now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. A little bit of heavy traffic. 201 freeway right now magna over towards west valley but uh, so far so good on most of the uh, west side streets including uh, bangator mountain view and redwood i-15 still only 20 minutes from draper to downtown heather and we also have less than a 30 minute drive southbound i-15 from ogden to downtown salt lake if you stick with i-15 if you transition onto legacy parkway in the west side belt they're both traveling at freeway speeds if you need to get to the airport and city streets are starting to fill in just a little bit but not enough to make for any crowding anywhere Eric. Over on the 215 East Belt, it's a dry run northbound from Cottonwood Heights uh, past Holiday Mill Creek all the way up to Foothill Drive, which is also in good shape all the way to the University of Utah. It's early. I-80 out into the mountains and no major trouble spots. A couple of slow-moving uh, vehicles looks like eastbound going from Lambs Canyon up to the top of Parley Summit. Don't miss the Bedrock Quartz bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertop sinks and more visit bedrockquartz.com eric butler in the ksl traffic center dialing up some crystal clear skies and a high of 62 by this afternoon 43 overnight we'll go to 71 tomorrow with high pressure moving into the region how about friday topping out at 78 with mostly sunny skies from the ksl weather center I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 43 degrees in Salt Lake City. I know the FISA Act has been really controversial. It's the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. A lot of people, I think, think it, that they've overreached in using that act. Yeah, what, been abused is the word that uh, most often gets thrown around. We're going to talk more with Stephen Portnoy about that. It's it's up for reevaluation. They either are going to reauthorize it or it's going to expire. Mm-hmm. We'll talk more about that just ahead on KSL. Stay with us at uh, conversation coming up next. And remember, you'll always find us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio. We're Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally. With wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi. Only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY. That's 1-800-XFINITY. Or visit a store today. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. All the talks we've had over the years, including what you've told me about not using alcohol and other drugs, they stick with me. And believe it or not, they really do make a difference, especially at times that matter most. Hey, want a drink? 
No thanks, I'm good. So thank you, Dad, for talking and preparing me for what's ahead. Thank you for talking. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. KSL News Time, 545. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the International Olympic Committee kicks off a tour of Utah's venues for the 2034 Games today with a ride on tracks and a visit to Rice Eccles Stadium. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, some people in parts of Garfield County are being told to prepare to evacuate this morning because of a growing concern over a crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. Third, it's a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Well, not much going on on the freeways to good speeds wherever you're headed this morning, including into the canyons. Been keeping an eye on city streets where traffic seems to be waking up a little bit, but not a whole lot to, to get in front of you. No slowdowns anywhere. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The warming trend continues today with 70s expected tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. The Arizona Supreme Court delivering a landmark ruling that enforces a 160-year-old ban on nearly all abortions. The law provides no exceptions for rape or incest and allows abortions only if the mother's life is in jeopardy. Here's ABC's Rachel Scott. This is a law that was passed during the Civil War, 48 years before Arizona even became a state. But in a landmark decision, the Arizona Supreme Court justices have now cleared the way for that ban to go into effect, and it is turning up the heat on an issue that could define this election. Donald Trump's longtime CFO, Alan Weisselberg, will be in court today to find out his sentence for lying under oath during his former boss's civil fraud trial. For the first time ever, a sport is introducing prize money at the Olympics. World Athletics says it will pay $50,000 to gold medal track and field athletes at the Games in Paris. In an interview with Univision, President Biden calls Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's handling of the war in Gaza a grave mistake. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth now. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is asking Congress to reauthorize FISA despite privacy concerns from U.S. citizens. ABC News National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy joins us live. Remind our listeners what FISA does, Stephen. Sure. The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act passed in the late 1970s has been expanded over the decades. And after 9-11, it was meant to break down some of the walls between the intelligence community and law enforcement to allow the FBI mainly, to go after and intercept possible terrorist attacks. Now, over the years, what we've learned, what goes on in secret, has been that, that there have been some abuses of the FISA law, that uh, the FBI and the NSA and the CIA have in, inadvertently and otherwise swept up the communications of Americans. And this vast trove of surveillance that uh, the, the U.S. government has uh, surpassing all the intelligence agencies anywhere on the planet. Uh, the, the concern has been that the FBI has been able to go into this vast trove of data and type in certain words, like, you know, the names Tim and Amanda and Stephen, and find out, uh, you know, who it is, in theory, that we're communicating with. Now, that's not supposed to happen. The Fourth Amendment says that there's supposed to be a warrant before uh, law enforcement goes after individuals, so that a probable cause can be established and a judge can oversee and sign off. Well, the FBI uh, is warning, as well as the White House, that if this section of the FISA law, Section 702, expires next week, the U.S. government could be blinded to so much of the things that the American people expect the U.S. government to have eyes on. Rogue and bad actors overseas, not just terrorists, but uh, repressive regimes, fentanyl traffickers, uh, the, the regimes like Iran and, and Russia and China, the U.S. government relies on this Section 702 authority to keep tabs on those overseas actors. The question is, should the Congress adopt certain reforms that govern the way the FBI handles Section 702 information? And there's a bipartisan push. It's Republicans and civil libertarians on the left who are coming together saying that it's time for the, the Congress to pass strict curbs on how this data is used. And it's the White House and the national security apparatus who are warning against the adoption of these reforms because they say they're unworkable, that it could slow things down to a halt and potentially make the United States vulnerable. Well, you've heard these debates and these, this controversy over the years, but it really is ramping up and it's a high stakes moment. This law is set to expire a week from Friday. Well, Stephen, this really came to a head back in 2019 with the uh, surveillance of Carter Page 
who was then working in the Trump uh, uh, election campaign, and there was a chief judge of FISA. I was reminded of this this morning when I saw we were going to talk. This is a quote from the chief judge of FISA. She said, the frequency with which representations made by FBI personnel turned out to be unsupported or contradicted by information in their possession and with which they withheld information detrimental to their case calls into question whether information contained in other FBI applications is reliable. That's from one of the judges leading that court. All of that went on in secret and was later disclosed as to serve as a warning to the public of what goes on here. And it has definitely affected this debate. I should note the Carter Page warrant that you're talking about was signed off on by a series of judges. And the question is whether the FBI misrepresented the reasons for those warrants. It happened that it was the Steele dossier that was funded by the Democrats, and you remember all that from years ago. Uh, but that's not 702. 702 was warrantless. It's the warrantless surveillance and, and tracking of information and collection in this vast trove that Jim Jordan, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, calls a haystack, and the ability of the FBI to go inside that haystack to potentially search for Americans' information. So uh, it, 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 what you described, Tim, has led to deep skepticism on both sides of the aisle about the intelligence community and its powers under 702 of mm -hmm. FISA, and it definitely informs this debate. Boy, we'll be following it with your help, Stephen. Thank you. ABC News National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy with us on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. All right, time to get a look at the drive, what there is of it out there. Traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay App. Save up to 20 cents a gallon, and it looks still quiet out there, Andy. And it's pretty nice. Uh, good road conditions to start off. No windy issues and good speeds. I-15, I-215, and I-80 coming from the west side. In Tooele County, there's some heavy traffic on SR-36 in Stansbury Park and some on Mountain View on the west side of Salt Lake County, but only around the 54, 6200 south stretches right now. Heather? One of the busiest areas in Weber and Davis County is the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. That's 650 north heading into the base in Clearfield. No backups there. That's just the busiest area for people trying to get to. You still have good speeds on I-15, US-89, and Legacy Parkway. Eric? Going out into the mountains, uh, no major chore this morning. I-80 looks good on dry roads going out to the Park City area. And if you're heading uh, from Orem, uh, Provo and Orem, uh, through Provo Canyon on 189, no trouble there uh, going out to Heber City. And uh, Spanish Fork Canyon on Highway 6, uh, no accidents this morning, no vehicles on fire. We had that yesterday. Everything looks good heading out to Price. Revere Health encourages you to schedule your preventative care and annual checkups to help increase the potential to live your most healthy and active life. Revere Health. Your partner in health, your partner in life. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast is looking like an absolute beaut. 62 today, sunny skies, goes to a perfect 71 tomorrow, sunny skies. And we bump it up to 78 on the warm side Friday with mostly sunny skies. A couple of clouds lingering on Saturday, 75, a little bit cooler. Partly cloudy, 69 on Sunday. Monday, more clouds, 63 we drop it off to 60 degrees on Tuesday, mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 43 degrees right now in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We're just watching a viral video of a guy that's unboxing an Amazon $20,000 tiny home. Tiny home. <laughs> just like... He just came in a box and he's opening up the box and now he has a home. It's funny. You just push the walls out like you do on an RV and lift the roof up and as long as you've got it. You know, a piece of land big enough, maybe mom and dad's backyard, yeah. <laughs> run a power cord, <laughs> you've got yourself a house. Kind of interesting. Uh, we'll check money news coming up here in just a minute. Attention Wasatch Front businesses and property managers. Have winter conditions damaged your parking lot, asphalt, or concrete surfaces? Call Go Pave Utah and get on their schedule. GoPaveUtah.com. Visit the contest page on KSLNewsRadio.com. This week, win a family pack of tickets to West Valley Arts Presents Shakespeare in Love, April 12th through May 4th. Or win a $150 gift card to Five Alls Restaurant. Plan your special evening out to Five Alls. Five courses and five star service and dining. Plus, win tickets to an upcoming Real Salt Lake match. We we're here giving away tickets to every RSL home match this season. Text the word contest to 57500 or go to kslnewsradio.com slash contests. Experience classical hits through a new lens with the Utah Symphony's Masterworks Magnified events. The final themed evening of the season is coming up this April. Picture this. You're at the elegant Abravanel Hall in downtown Salt Lake City, dressed to the nines and crafting your own masquerade mask. 
Then you're swept away by the Utah Symphony's performance of Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet. Starting with the masquerade ball, following the romance of the star-crossed lovers, and leading to the story's tragic events. Marvel at the projections giving you a close-up of the symphony's performers and the flying fingers of guest pianist Ingrid Fleeter as she plays Ravel's Piano Concerto. Plus, you'll even hear conversations with the orchestra's expert musicians. It's Masterworks Magnified's masquerade-themed event. April 26th and 27th, tickets start at $21 at utahsymphony.org slash magnified. Hear the Utah Symphony April 26th and 27th. Tickets start at $21 at utahsymphony.org. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. 4% of online global content creators make six figures a year, according to Goldman Sachs Research. YouTube, considered by creators to be one of the more lucrative platforms, has more than 3 million channels earning money. It looks like it's going to cost a little more for stamps. The U.S. Postal Service wants to raise the price by five cents. It'll be the fourth increase since the start of 2023, with the last raise in January of this year. Good thing I have a drawer full of forever stamps <laughs> yeah, me too. that I paid four years ago. Of course, I haven't mailed anything uh, snail mail in a long time. A majority of the nation's largest school districts don't offer some kind of paid paternal leave, according to the uh, National Council of Teacher Quality. Those that do typically offer less than six weeks, and it's only partially paid. I was reading about that this morning about, you know, that they're trying to figure out why are teachers leaving the profession? How can we incentivize them to stay? And one of the things that came up was the fact that they, most districts, don't pay for maternity leave. Mm -hmm. You have to use your sick leave like we did back in the day. But many companies have, have taken a step toward actually providing maternity leave so you don't use your sick or disability time. I'll, I'll tell you, when, when I have the opportunity, and we've both done this and continue to do this when we have a chance through our teacher feature program mm -hmm. to, to talk to teachers, I always say, you know, being the son of a teacher my whole life, people forget that they have families too. Yeah, right. And they're, they're grading your child's uh, papers while they're helping their children with their homework. Yeah. And yeah, they've got a family to raise too. Your money at this moment, uh, futures markets are up. Dow up 67, S&P 7, and the NASDAQ up 20. All right, roads are in good shape so far this morning. Uh, normal travel times, it looks like, as you head into downtown. We'll check traffic and weather together next. Hot Tub Factory Outlet and Backyards of America is offering an incredible deal. We'll pay the sales tax on every hot tub, swim spa, infrared sauna, and cold plunge sold. Now through April 15th, say goodbye to pesky extra charges and hello to unbeatable savings. We're your local hotspot for hot tubs, swim spas, infrared saunas, and cold plunge. We're not just any store. We're two local guys dedicated to bringing you the best prices and selection around. Step into our showroom and be amazed. We have hot tubs, swim spas, and saunas in every size, color, and model imaginable. From cozy two-seaters to luxurious party-sized tubs and the largest showroom of swim spas. When you buy local, you're not not just getting a great deal you're getting top-notch service too with our in-house service technician help is just a phone call away because we believe in making your hot tub and swim spa experience as magical as possible hot tub factory outlet conveniently located next to Calabunga bay and backyards of america in sandy join mike stevens of capital wealth advisors for retire right radio saturdays at 5 a.m and 9 p.m that's retire right radio with mike stevens saturdays at 5 a.m and 9 p.m jeff kaplan when you're online that's sometimes a source of fourth hand information somebody does the reporting another website googles they find it they rewrite it and by the time you read it you know the old game telephone but ksl is a source of primary information we have reporters on the street they're out in the field finding out the details and the difference between online and KSL News Radio, night and day. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, 3 to 7 on KSL News Radio. Ready to name an NHL team? This deal makes too much sense, and an announcement could come by the end of the season. Jazz owner Ryan Smith is warming up the home crowd with possible names for a hockey franchise. What's the future of the downtown? Hockey in Salt Lake City and Utah sports generally. Listen this week to KSL News Radio. 559 traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel through the valley on I-15, 215, and 201. All clear of delays right now. A little bit heavy on Redwood Road for traffic that's heading north uh, from West Jordan into Taylorsville. 
Tooele County, that southbound traffic in Stansbury Park back to normal uh, volumes heading uh, through uh, down towards Tooele City. Heather? We do have increased volume of traffic on southbound I-15 from Ogden to Salt Lake. Not enough cars yet to slow anybody down, but definitely getting busier than it was half an hour ago. You also have a little bit more traffic on some of the city streets in Ogden and Clearfield. Eric? Looking sharp in Utah County right now. You've got normal travel times from Provo to Point of the Mountain. If you get on at University Avenue, it's a 20-minute drive ahead of you uh, going up to uh, Salt Lake County. Uh, Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain Drivers, northbound Redwood Road looks good. And then getting over to the freeway, no problems right now from Redwood on 2100 North Lehigh's Main Street or Pioneer Crossing and out into the mountains. Uh, no difficulties on I-80 through Parley's Canyon. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor price. Visit Durdens.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durdens, brands you know at prices you'll love. I'm Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. 62 today, not a cloud in the sky. Same will be uh, true tomorrow and will warm to 71. And then Friday, 78. We might have 80 degrees somewhere along the Wasatch on Friday. Right now, 45 in Salt Lake City to start your morning. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 6 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Opening arguments take place this morning in Idaho in the murder trial against Chad Daybell. If convicted, jurors will be considering the death penalty. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our coverage. Peter? Amanda, the possibility of the death penalty could be extending this trial weeks longer than Lori Vallow Daybell's was, and she faced three consecutive life sentences. I think when you think of a criminal case as being beyond a reasonable doubt, it's a uh, well beyond a reasonable doubt when a jury is considering the, the punishment of death. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says that if uh, Valo De- if Chad Daybell is convicted... If a jury votes to convict and to impose the death penalty, the appeals in this case could very well go for a decade or longer because it's got to work its way through not only the state but the federal system. Daybell faces charges of murdering his first wife, Tammy Daybell, as well as Lori Vallow Daybell's children, Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. Live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. We do have a team in Idaho to cover the opening statements today in that trial. Our Adam Small will have a live report from Boise coming up at 7 and then again at 8. And our legal analyst, Greg Scordis, will join us in the next half hour. Human remains found in remote Box Elder County are presumed to belong to a young man who's been missing since 2022. KS News Radio's Michael Commit is live with the latest. Michael? Amanda, 19-year-old Dylan Rounds was reported missing in May of that year after a strange run-in with 60-year-old James Brenner, who was later charged with aggravated murder. Rounds' presumed remains were discovered near the ghost town of Lucen. He was working on a farm in the western part of Box Elder County at the time of his disappearance, but the state medical examiner is working to confirm whether these remains are Rounds. In the meantime, the sheriff's, off- the sheriff's office gave their deepest sympathies to his family. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. More fallout this morning after Arizona Supreme Court upheld an almost complete ban on abortion. The ruling hinges on a law that was passed in 1864. The law is set to take effect in two weeks, and Arizona's Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs is urging voters to have the final say at the ballot box this fall. This November, Arizonans may have an opportunity to make their voices heard on this important issue. The law does have an exception if the mother's life is in danger. Political analyst Mike O'Neill at our sister station KTAR says the court ruling is a rallying cry for groups trying to make abortion a state constitutional right. Proponents of the initiative can now hold out the prospects of total prohibition of abortion as the alternative to their proposal. The proposed amendment would guarantee women could get an abortion in Arizona until about 24 weeks of pregnancy. It would also allow for abortions in cases where the mother's life is at risk. Free health screenings will soon be offered at schools in the Provo City School District. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has that story. The Nordic College of Osteopathic Medicine is partnering with financial donors like the Provo Open to give student doctors a chance to practice and offer free health screenings to elementary kids in the Provo School District. Provo Mayor Michelle Cafusi, who the program is named after, says the screenings will be invaluable for low-income families who may not have access to quality health care. The program will be rolled out in phases. Its first health screening fair is coming up on May 1st at the Tempanogos Elementary School. 
KSL Weather with Matt Johnson. Get ready for a nice warm-up. Our warming trend will continue into Friday, where we'll top out at 78 degrees. The old record for that date is actually 81. So we'll fall short of a record warm day Friday by about 3 degrees if the forecast holds. We should see a high today of 62, but then we see above normal temperatures with 71 on Thursday, 78 on Friday, and a nice 75 on Saturday. Time for that first look traffic as we go back to Andy Farnsworth. And we've got a great drive on the uh, freeways so far. No crashes or real delays anywhere. Even the gates to Hill Air Force Base uh, all seem to be uh, getting people through fairly quickly. The West Gate may be the busiest of the three. And going into the canyons, all the roads are dry and no restrictions. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. This morning, we're learning about a student in Lehigh who may have helped prevent a school shooting back in November. We now know a school resource officer got a tip from the student that a classmate had a gun. Corporal Jack Smith tells KSL TV he did find a handgun in the suspected student's backpack. I found, you know, the word kill written on a few things in his binders and papers. There was writings from him that were concerning and suicidal and violent. The student admitted he did have suicidal thoughts. His classmate who reported him is being credited with saving his life. The student is getting treatment. New rules are coming for the WIC program. The federal program helping to pay for groceries for millions of low-income mothers, babies, and young kids will soon emphasize more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. The final rule changes for the program known as WIC were announced Tuesday by the Food and Nutrition Service and will take effect within two years, with some exceptions. Under new rules, fruits and vegetable vouchers in 2024 will provide $26 a month for kids ages 1 through 4, $47 a month for pregnant and postpartum women, and $52 for breastfeeding women. I'm Julie Walker. Kids love Lunchables, but Consumer Reports says anything similar to the cheese, meat, and snack cracker kits should never be on a school lunch menu. The group's report says the version often showing up in schools has even more sodium than the versions sold in grocery stores. The report also found small levels of lead and cadmium in many different versions of Lunchables, but nothing above the legal limit. We learned in the newsroom this morning, mom and dad love Lunchables. Oh, yeah. Not they're just so, they're kids. so easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Evermore Park in Utah County has closed its doors, but property owner Brandon Fugel says the park won't be closed for long. The real estate where Evermore Park was located is being repositioned to unveil a new attraction and project that is going to be announced. Fugel says the group that ran the fantasy and medieval theme park had struggled for the past several years and the pandemic made the problem worse. It's a good drive on the freeways and major city streets uh, to start off your Wednesday morning commute. We'll check traffic and weather together coming up next. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. I am listening for the traffic. I'll always know if somebody's going to be late to work. That's often what's on when I'm driving. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, Deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Are you prepared for an emergency or disaster? Because it's not a matter of if, but when. Don't find yourself saying, (laughs) when the storm rolls in, my time to find a pet-friendly evacuation center will have run out. 
the scorching heat wave will leave me powerless to cool my insulin. I'll face a hurricane without meds. Now that's a tough pill to swallow. Let's prepare so we all have a better story to tell. Get started at ready.gov slash older adults. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Hey, if you're just waking up this morning, one of the stories we're uh, following is this uh, headline that these uh, human remains that were found in Box Elder County are presumed to be those of uh, a missing uh, teen since, what was it, 2022 mm-hmm. or young 20s? A couple of years ago, yeah. Uh, hopefully, if that is the case, it will bring some closure to the uh, family. Mm-hmm. Our uh, Michael Commit is following up on that story for us this morning. KSL News Time 609. Time for a look at uh, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app, where you can save up to 20 cents a gallon. And he's back in the traffic center. And I'm seeing a bit more traffic now on the freeway, but not enough to slow you down or add to your drive time. We're still at the minimums, 18 to 20 minutes to get from Bluffdale to Salt Lake City. Uh, if you're coming over Point of the Mountain from Utah County. If you're coming out of Tooele County, a little bit heavy in Lake Point, SR 36. Those last couple intersections before you get on to I-80. But then once you're on the freeway, 10 minutes to get to Bangor Highway and 215's west side. Heather? De- got, definitely have a bit more traffic now throughout Weber and Davis County, especially on city streets. I'm seeing that on Main Street as you move between Clearfield and Layton, both directions. Also in Ogden, on a lot of the city streets, especially Harrison Boulevard right now. And I-15 getting a, a bit thick now as you head south from Clearfield into Farmington. Eric. From Heber City to Park City, northbound US-40 going by Jordanell Reservoir. All that's looking good this morning. And I-80 through Parley's Canyon, eastbound, westbound, no problems there. Down Utah County, I-15 also rolling along at a normal pace. It's a 24-minute drive from Spanish Fork to Point of the Mountain. Don't let tax problems ruin your life. Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox handle the IRS so you don't have to. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Spectacular spring weather is in store today. High of 62 with blue skies. Overnight, 43 clear skies. Tomorrow we'll go 71. We jump to 78 by Friday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, 45 degrees. Coming up in a moment, I did not know that Japan is one of the largest providers of economic assistance to Ukraine. Oh, wow, I didn't either. Uh, that, we're going to talk more about that because the Prime Minister of Japan is, is at the White House today meeting with President Biden. We'll talk to Karen Travers about that just ahead. Stay with us, streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio. Thanks for waking up with us. We're Utah's news traffic and weather station. Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors, and I'm proud to tell you we don't lay off employees when things get tough. During the pandemic, we didn't let one of our installers go. Instead, we had them clean and remodel our offices so they could still get paid. Remember the 2008 housing crisis? It was a financial nightmare for even the biggest contractors. Still, we didn't lay off a single worker. Nope, we sacrificed profits to keep paying everyone. Look, when the economy's down, most contractors are quick to lay off their workers. It's the easiest way to save money when times get tight. But at RGS Exteriors, we're loyal to our people. You know why? Because it's the right thing to do. People first, people always. That's the RGS way. For gutters, siding, windows, and more, call RGS Exteriors at 801-280-3110 or visit rgsexteriors.com. That's rgsexteriors.com, 801-280-3110. Do you know the secret to losing up to one pound of fat every day? At slcfatloss.com, we know the secret. Our unique weight loss program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back naturally, safely, and effectively. If you'd like to lose unhealthy fat without counting points, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no surgery, and no injections with the risk of serious side effects, go to slcfatloss.com now to schedule your free consultation in person or virtually. I'm Maria Shaleos. I've lost 25 pounds in 60 days, And for a limited time, when you mention my name, Maria, you will get $200 off. Call 801-450-1882 to schedule your free consultation or go to slcfatloss.com. slcfatloss.com. Results may vary. Many clients lose 20 to 30 pounds in about a month or two. That's up to a pound per day. For your free private weight loss consultation, call 801-450-1882 or go to slcfatloss.com. That's slcfatloss.com. Results may vary. 
Library. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. already feels like home. You know that feeling? It's kind of hot in the afternoon and you hear the air conditioner kick in and you think, there we go. And then you wait for a bit, but you don't feel any cold yet. So you go put your hand right in front of it and sure enough, even with all that noise, it's just regular air coming out instead of cold. Whipple that away. Fixing air conditioners that don't make cold is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. Call today and ask about our next day installation or visit whipplethataway.com. KSL News Time, 615. The three things you need to know this hour. First, opening arguments begin today in the trial of Chad Daybell. The possibility of the death penalty means this case could go on for months. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, free health screenings will soon be offered at schools in the Provo City School District. Third, it's traffic and weather together. I-15 traffic has been fine. No crashes or delays this morning, which means uh, you'll have a quick trip if you take the freeway. City Street's got some more people on them now as we're getting into the 6 o'clock hour, but... Not enough to cause any backups yet. And I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll jump another 5 to 7 degrees today with a high of 62. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, downtown 43 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check, uh, check that is, our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. A law written in 1864, now in place in Arizona, the state Supreme Court upholding a Civil War era near total ban on abortion with only one exception to save the life of the mother. It was put into motion following the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision. ABC's Rachel Scott has political reaction. The ruling by the Arizona court referring 22 times to the U.S. Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe versus Wade. Donald Trump has boasted of appointing three of the six justices who overturned Roe. Just this week, he said states should make their own laws when it comes to abortion. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. President Biden calling the ban extreme, dangerous, and cruel. In an interview with Univision, President Biden calls Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's handling of the war in Gaza a grave mistake. In about a half hour, we will get new numbers on inflation when the government releases the Consumer Price Index. ABC Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis has more on how the report will affect borrowing nationwide. If you are waiting for mortgage rates to drop so you can buy a home or you're worried about your credit card APR, this report today has an impact. The Fed is watching to see if inflation is coming down so that it can finally start cutting interest rates. But so far, prices continue to be up about three and a percent from yeah. a year ago. Analysts do expect prices to be up about three and a half percent. That's what she said compared to a year ago. For the first time ever, a sport is introducing prize money at the Olympics. World Athletics says it will pay $50,000 to gold medal track and field athletes at the Games in Paris. Tara Vanderveer, winningest basketball coach in NCAA history, is announced to retirement after leading the Stanford women's team for 38 seasons. The Hall of Famer has coached 45 years overall. You're listening to ABC News. Time for the KSL In-Depth. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will visit the White House today. ABC News White House correspondent Karen Travers joins us live with a preview. What will he be talking to the president about, Karen? It's a very big agenda discussion today for the two leaders. The White House says they're going to talk about a range of topics from defense and climate change to global diplomacy and partnerships between the U.S. and Japan in space. Uh, this is a significant meeting. The White House is putting a big premium on the importance of this alliance, saying that it's among the most important global alliances today, meaning not just for the United States, but for all countries and the significance around the world and, and that other countries look at this as very important. The White House says that there will be more than 70 substantial significant deliverables after their meeting today. Deliverables is Washington speak for things that the two leaders will agree to and announce afterward. That's a pretty hefty list. And the White House says those things will be on space, uh, emerging technology, things like artificial intelligence, semiconductors and clean energy and other economic issues. 
Um, do we know, and this was a surprise to both of us, uh, whether they're going to be talking about Ukraine? We didn't realize that Japan yeah. was actually one of the largest providers of assistance. Yeah, very significant. And this will be a big topic on their agenda today because Japan is one of the largest providers of economic assistance. And this is an important distinction here. They're giving economic money, budget support to Ukraine, different than the security assistance that the United States and European countries have been giving. We talk so much about what America has sent over there from ammunition and tanks and other weaponry and supporting them with funding for security assistance. But there is also a critical need in Ukraine for just straight economic help and budget support, because when you think about it, you know, so much of their own government budget and funding is going to the war effort. So there have been big concerns, especially in the last couple months, because of how they've had to ramp it up uh, because of lack of funding from the United States, frankly, uh, ramp up their own contributions on the security side of things. Big concerns about their ability to pay civil servants, you know, keep schools, hospitals running, keep the lights on, things like that that are just basic functions of government and society. And that's where countries like Japan, the European Union did a big uh, funding boost a couple months ago as well to give that economic assistance and budget support to just keep Ukraine going. What's the purpose of the prime minister's visit, Karen? Is it, is it anything in particular or just a, a state visit? You know, state visit. Uh, they get to pick who they want to come and invite and roll out the red carpet for. And it's to highlight the strong ties between the two countries. Of course, we'll be talking about China. So this is also a chance to show the uh, tight relationship between the U.S. and that critical country in the Indo-Pacific region. And, you know, this is obviously not the point of it, but they do get to do some socializing then, too, with the state dinner tonight. Uh, the first lady gave a preview of it yesterday. Paul Simon is going to be performing at the dinner, uh, which I think will be fun for all the Guests, and we love getting the guest list to see which business leaders get invited, which celebrities maybe have ties to Japan that get invited. We'll get that around 5.30 tonight. Do reporters get to go to the dinner or no? <laughs> A handful do. I know somebody who's going. It's not me, <laughs> uh, but I know somebody is going tonight, and we keep it secret until it gets announced. But it's a big deal to get invited to the state dinner if you're a journalist. There's probably only like two or three that get asked yeah. for each one. So maybe uh, somebody gets sick and they need me to go. I've got a dress. I'm ready and waiting. <laughs> yeah. The menu looks delicious, Karen. I wish it was you. They've got house-cured will, salmon, yeah. and they've got dry-aged <laughs> rib eye steak tonight mm. uh, for the meal. Well, that's kind of like the leftovers I might be eating <laughs> tonight. <laughs> yeah. ABC News White House correspondent Karen Travers helping us out on the in-depth at 15 and 45. Let's get another look at traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel through Salt Lake County is still going to be easy if you're on the freeways, whether you're on 21st South, I-80, or I-15. It's uh, city streets starting to fill in a little bit. I'm seeing 35th South getting pretty busy crossing over from Magna towards West Valley and some heavy traffic on Mountain View going south through South Jordan now. Heather? No problem still in Weber and Davis County. At least no accidents reported on city streets and major freeways. Traffic is starting to fill in both on the city streets and freeways. So you're going to see increased volume of cars southbound I-15 between Clearfield and Farmington. You'll also see that in Ogden, especially around Harrison Boulevard and on a, in the Roy area on 5600 South. Eric. I-15, Utah County, solid movement from Provo and Orem up to Thanksgiving Point. If you're northbound on the freeway, uh, we are seeing a little bit of congestion University Parkway uh, just uh, west of University Avenue in Provo, uh, but no big problems any place in the county and US-40 along the Wasatch Pack. That looks good if you're northbound from Heber City to Park City. Did you know simple maintenance rejuvenates your asphalt roof for 30 to 50% longer? Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at Master Roofing Utah. Com to schedule your free assessment today. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 8 forecast looking pretty good, if I say so myself. 62 today, sunny skies, up to 71 tomorrow, sunny. Mostly sunny on Friday, a couple of clouds scooting in here, but a mild high of 78. We dial it back to 75, mostly sunny on Saturday. Sunday, 69, partly cloudy. A little California storm tries to move on in here on Monday, 63, still just mostly cloudy. We dropped to 60 on Tuesday with more clouds. From the KSL Weather Center, 
I'm Matt Johnson. 45 in Salt Lake City and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We know you're busy and, and sometimes you might wake up a little late or you're rushing around and don't have time to listen to the news live, but you want to know what the latest news is in the state. Of course you do. So you just go to wherever you get your podcasts and search Utah's Morning News and you can listen to the most recent newscast at your convenience. Yeah, do it. And the, I still think the easiest way is download that KSL News Radio app. Have it on your phone and handy whenever you need it. KSL News Time 623. You know, Deb, you and I have had this conversation so many times. We think, oh, I wish I had a little more light here or maybe a ceiling fan there. That's why we love Master Electrical. So anytime we have an electrical problem, we know we can call them and they will give us their upfront pricing guarantee. Because we're not going to do it yourself. We're going to leave it to the professionals. And this upfront pricing guarantee is fantastic. I'm sure you've been bitten by bids in the past where they say, oh, that's going to take half a day. And then two weeks later... The bid and the invoice have nothing to do with each other. Not only will you get their upfront pricing guarantee, but you will never see an upcharge. Their pricing system simply won't allow it. Master Electrical proudly serves from Logan to Santa Quin. They do everything that has to do with electrical, and they're always open, including for emergency services. The phone number to call is 801-543-2222. 801-543-2222 or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. How do you protect your business against cyber attacks and ransomware? Learn at the annual WebCheck Cyber Summit. Register today at webcheckssecurity.com. That's webcheckssecurity.com. Amco presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet you didn't know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, bet you didn't know that Amco's fixed over 40 million transmissions and that Amco offers a nationwide warranty. Check out Amco's multiple financing options so you can fix it fast and pay it off slow. That's Amco, double A, MCO. The sun is out and the temps are up. It's time to seize the day and hit the road. You were born to ride. And now's the time to make your dreams a reality. Imagine the wind in your hair as you cruise on your very own power scooter. Hi, I'm Jay Broadbent with Alpine Home Medical. And these scooters aren't just for getting around. They're your ticket to freedom. With speeds up to six miles per hour, you'll own the road like never before. From graduation to concerts and vacations, our power scooters will get you there in style and ease. Don't wait another minute. The time to ride is now. Let's start your adventure today. Visit us online at alpinehomemedical.com. That's alpinehomemedical.com. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Two tribal nations are accusing social media uh, companies of contributing to high rates of suicides among Native American youth. Their lawsuit filed Tuesday in LA County names Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Google as responsible. Tribal leaders say Native youths are particularly vulnerable due to the complexities of indigenous identity in the U.S. We have a lot of listeners out there, I'm sure, that uh, work for or uh, fly Delta Airlines and their expected earnings for the first quarter of the year are up. The airline made $12.6 billion so far, and that's only going to go up with uh, the solid spring and summer travel outlook. Your money at this moment, Dow futures up 86, that's two-tenths of a percent, S&P's up 10, and NASDAQ futures up 31. Still looks like it's a good drive out there. No major issues on the roads right now. No accidents or delays. Traffic and weather together when we come back. Back when I was about 34 pounds heavier, I used to have a whole bunch of excuses for why I wouldn't actually start a program that would help me lose weight. I'd think to myself, it's going to take too long. You know, I'm just going to gain it back. I never, I'm never successful at this anyway. I don't want to have to have, you know, to count calories constantly. I don't want to have to go anywhere. I'm too busy. I'm too busy was my major reason why. And then I found soda weight loss and all those excuses just floated away. I never have to go anywhere. I don't have to go do a weigh-in. I don't count any calories. I don't take any pills or, or anything. I just followed the diet plan they set out for me, eating the foods they suggested, 
and the weight just fell right off, and that was two years ago. And the game changer is, and this is one of the other reasons why I think people don't, uh, you know, start on that path to lose weight and get healthier. You're never alone in this process. Right. Because you have that nutritionist that's right there at your fingertips, who, by the way, even after you reach your goal weight, whatever that happens to be, if you want to lose 20 or 40 or 60 pounds, uh, they are still there at no extra charge through the maintenance phase right. of this program. For the rest of your life, if you want them to. Yeah. My daughter lost 42 pounds, and they can help you, too. Go to SotaWeightLoss.com. It's spelled S-O-T-N-A, and it stands for State of the Art. Want to know what is grinding things to a halt in Congress? We have to face reality right now. You should have been listening to Inside Sources and Boyd Matheson's interview with Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson. We literally are operating right now with the smallest majority in the history of the Congress. When it came to funding the government, we either get the best possible product we can or we just shut the government down. For firsthand information from Inside Sources, listen each day. Boyd Matheson from 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. And I wanted to let you know that you can get ready for spring with the Greenhouse Show and Advanced Window Products. Affordable windows sold direct to the public at 3052 South 460 West from 8 to 11, the Greenhouse Show, this Saturday. Time again for traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Looking good, Andy. It is. It's a great drive through the valley on I-15 and on the streets approaching I-15 so far. The 201 freeway starting to see some traffic building up uh, as you go uh, past 7200 West. Uh, odd bit of slowing if you're going south from Tooele on SR-36 down towards Stockton, but then heavy traffic going north as well through Stansbury Park and Lake Point. Heather? The west gate of Hill Air Force Base in Clearfield appears to be the busiest gate right now, but there's no big backups. That's just where most of the people are coming in or out of the, the base right now. If you're hopping on a freeway, I-15, US-89, and I-84, they're all traveling at speed north, south, east, and west. Eric? We got one crash out in Provo Canyon. Uh, this is if you're coming from he uh, Heber City, Charleston, uh, out into the valley. It's westbound at Canyon View Park, and uh, not seeing any delays going through that stretch at the moment, but we'll keep an eye on it. I-15, Utah County, northbound, southbound, that's looking good at the moment. Revere Health encourages you to schedule Schedule your preventative care and annual checkups to help increase the potential to live your most healthy and active life. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner in life. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. It's going to be a beautiful day, high of 62, and right now it's 43 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 6.30. KSL's top story this hour. It is breaking news on KSL. Some people in Garfield County on standby this hour to uh, possibly evacuate because of growing concerns about a crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson begins our team coverage. A significant break in that dam could send half of the lake into the town. Sergeant Tom Talbot tells KSL 5 crews are watching closely. There's an upper portion of the dam that has sustained some damage from the ice. Deputies say damage to that dam is not yet severe enough to warrant immediate evacuations, but residents are urged to check those emergency kits just in case. They've also closed access to the lake as well as a portion of SR-143. Meanwhile, the city is working to lower lake levels as the level two emergency continues. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Dam failures have happened in Utah before. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with a brief history of those events. Michael? Tim, there was a series of dam failures before the year 2000, notably the Little Deer Creek failure in 1963 and the DMAD Trial Lake and Quail Creek Dam failures in the 80s. Foundational problems were a common factor in some of those breaks. More recently, the lob detention dam failure in 2012 led to homes, businesses, and roads being damaged and a presidential disaster declaration coming down on Washington County. The dam was ultimately rebuilt, though. Reporting live, Michael Kmet, KSL News Radio. The International Olympic Committee has landed in Utah and has a big tour ahead of them. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our live team coverage. Peter? Amanda, Utah's Olympic team is laying out the red carpet for the International Olympic Committee this week. A special tracks train wrapped in the words, ready to move the world again, will carry committee members from the 2002 Olympic torch at Rice Eccles Stadium to the Delta Center today. Utah Game CEO Fraser Bullock and Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendehall are going to unveil a transit plan for 2034, running from Provo to Snow Basin, according to a news release from the Salt Lake City, Utah Olympic Games Committee. Through the week, committee members will be touring legacy Olympic sites from the Kearns Olympic Oval to Soldier Hollow. 
They're going to be done on Saturday. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Not quite the red carpet, but several buildings in downtown Salt Lake City overnight and this morning greeted those IOC members with a golden hue. That golden glow is part of our efforts to persuade members of the International Olympic Committee were ready and able to host the 2034 Games. Salt Lake Chamber President and CEO Derek Miller says our first Olympic Games were a huge success. It wasn't just hosting a wonderful game, but it was the only game up to that point that actually made money for the community with which allowed us to create an endowment fund that continues to this day. He says that fund has allowed us to maintain our venues with the hope we would one day be able to host another Winter Games. If you missed last night, Miller says those buildings will be lit at night all week. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. More news involving the Olympics this morning. Track and field is set to become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Olympics. The prize money will come out of the share of Olympic revenue that the IOC distributes to world athletics and other governing bodies of individual sports. Track and field gold medalists will get $50,000 across 48 events. Relay teams will split the $50,000 between team members. Payments for silver and bronze medalists are planned to start happening in the 2028 Games in Los Angeles. KSL's top national stories this hour. House Speaker Mike Johnson is delaying the articles of impeachment against Homeland Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says there are no charges in the House complaint that rise to the level of impeaching Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. We're going to move forward as, and resolve this as quickly as possible once again. Impeachment should never be used to settle policy disagreements. Senate Republicans are pushing for a trial. Multiple Senate Democrats say they expect there will be a vote to either table the trial or dismiss it altogether. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. First look traffic now, and here's Andy Farnsworth. Right now, travel on I-15 is uh, still pretty quiet in either direction uh, going towards Salt Lake City. It's uh, been pretty nice through the canyons this morning as well. Tooele County's got some heavy traffic on SR-36. And just random city streets are going to have some heavy spots, but no big delay. So I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A large stash of fentanyl pills were discovered during a traffic stop in Utah County. Here's KSL TV's Andrew Adams. Detective Zach Robinson says a search of the car turned into a jackpot of fentanyl pills. 5,500 fentanyl pills approximately and 30 grams of methamphetamine. In addition to the drugs, investigators seized weapons, including these taken from the home of the driver, Larry Glenn Jones. Detectives uh, say that the suspect drove to Phoenix the day before only to return immediately. An expanded child tax credit quickly passed in the House, but it's facing a very different situation in the Senate. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. The bill would increase the $78 billion Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act, multiplying the child tax credit on a per child basis and adjusting the credit amount for inflation. But the revisions by the House aren't boding well with the senators who helped pioneer it. One of the changes stalling it is the allowance of unemployed parents to cash in on the credit. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo said it changes it from a working family tax relief into a government subsidy. Utah Senator Mitt Romney agrees. He said it really just doesn't make sense anymore and it would be just another entitlement program. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. Utah's caregivers are struggling, according to a new Kemsey Gardner Institute report. A caregiver is someone who provides care for a friend or family member without financial compensation. More than four in ten of these caregivers are reporting high levels of financial and emotional stress. The report says those feelings get more intense the more time you devote to caregiving. About half of caregivers work full time and many of them have made a work-related change due to this caregiving. The change is most often switching to hybrid or virtual work hours. So what helps caregivers feel supported? The report overwhelmingly points to sharing caregiving responsibilities with family members. Emma Keddington, KSL News Radio. Volume starting to increase on the freeways but no slowdowns to tell you about. We'll Check traffic and weather together coming up next. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. Hey guys, do you know your T level? Revive Men's Health here in Salt Lake City is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. 
With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Relive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Salt Lake City at 801-263-7777. That's 801-263-7777 or visit revivemenshealth.com. Does your business struggle with ISO, SOC 2, HIPAA, CMMC, NIST, or other compliance? Register now for the WebCheckSecurity.com Cyber Summit. That's WebCheckSecurity.com. Utah. It's Toy Hauler Month at all three Paris RV locations. We've gathered three of our top-selling toy haulers and are blowing them out to you this month for the same price you choose. Get the 2024 XLR Boost, the Open Range 25TH, or the Cherokee 24RRT. Your, Your choice, choice. $29,995 or $304 per month. That's right, a toy hauler for only $29,995. Go to ParisRV.com. It's Toy Hauler Madness at Paris RV. Paris RV is your locally owned, family run RV dealership. We strive hard to find the very best RVs for the price. With four locations, over 1,000 RVs in stock, 42 service bays, and four super parts stores, we are sure to help take your family on the best RV vacation. Check out our perfect family bunkhouse trailer, the 26BH, that sleeps nine for $19,995 or $227 a month. Zero, Zero down. down. Life is short. Enjoy it. North Murray, South Murray, Payson, and Pocatello. ParisRV.com. Well, the Consumer Price Index numbers came in about a minute or two ago, and they're in line with projections, but still not great news. They uh, rose 0.4% last month and 3.5% annually. We'll see how the markets react to that this morning. 639 Traffic and Weather Together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Some heavy traffic on Mountain View and Bangor are going up through West Valley around 3,500 south. It's about time to see that. Starting to see a little bit more consistent heavy southbound traffic on Mountain View through daybreak. I-15 looks great, though. Coming over the hill from Point of the Mountain all the way up to the 6th South exit downtown. Uh, it's only about a 20-minute drive. Heather? We do have a little bit of crowding on I-15 southbound as you leave Ogden, head through Clearfield, Layton, Kaysville. But everybody's still at freeway speeds the entire way into downtown Salt Lake, so that's still less than a 30-minute commute. You're also seeing traffic fill in on Legacy Parkway in the West Side Belt if you use those to get to the airport. But the great news is we have no accidents reported in Weber and Davis counties. Eric? Along the 215 East Belt, no problems heading north uh, alongside Mount Olympus to Foothill Drive. We are seeing a little bit of congestion on Foothill Drive right now, uh, both directions between uh, Mario Capecchi and the uh, Sunnyside intersection. If you're down Utah County, I-15 looks solid. There's a westbound crash at Canyon View. Uh, this is uh, going through Provo Canyon uh, about a couple miles, so maybe just a mile uh, before you get to the mouth of the canyon. If you're westbound, that's where the crash is. SNS Roofing is your trusted source. For quality and affordability, they've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Temperatures will be near normal for this time of year. 62 for the high, sunny skies, high pressure building. Overnight, we'll drop off to 43. Tomorrow, 71 and sunny skies. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. And right now in Salt Lake City, 45 degrees. The trial of Chad Daybell begins today in Idaho. Our legal analyst Greg Scordis is there, and he'll join us live in just a moment. Right now, though, it's time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. So Ryan Smith is asking your help in choosing a name for an NHL team. As the man with all the marbles, it's his choice, and he's already mentioned the possibility of the Utah Yetis. Which would be perfect, an abominable snowman to go with his abominable basketball team. I mean, I love me some jazz, but they're on this historic 12-game losing streak. I barely recognize the name of a single player on the court. Still, fun to go, and I understand they're tanking for a better slot in the NBA draft, but still, this season hurts. 
So here's a chance to make up for inheriting the name Jazz from New Orleans. The team moved here 50 years ago. Supposedly, the tapped-out owner didn't want to spend the money on rebranding, so the Jazz they is. And now we could get a clean skate, a slate with hockey. Among the suggestions being floated, along with the Yetis, the Utah Blizzard, the Mountaineers, the Pioneers, and then you have the Utah Brine Shrimp, the Screaming Seagulls, the Buzz. Can't do the Golden Eagles. Vegas has the Golden Knights, but in the end, the name is a foregone conclusion. I predict it'll be the Utah Yetis because the team would make so much money from the merch. Little Yeti dolls and jerseys and mugs and jackets, even before the first face-off. Ka-ching! The other reason for the Yetis is that Ryan Smith already suggested it. You know how it works. He'll own the team, and to the winner go the spoils. Jazz fans, you remember winning. Don't you? Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. I love the Yetis. I do too. I, I think that'll be great. I heard Jeremiah on yesterday with uh, David Dujanovic, and he threw that out there. I, I think it's perfect, and the mascot would be amazing. So, what would we throw on the ice? I don't know. And Big feet. By the way, the things they throw on the ice have nothing to do with the mascot or the name of the team. In Vegas, for instance, I just looked it up. The Golden Knights throw pink flamingos. Somebody started that with the squid, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Weird things get thrown onto the ice, but it is something else to think about. It's going to be fun. And, of course, the Minute of News is brought to you by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox. IRS harassing you? The Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. The best kept secret is this is the pass. It's a pass for fun for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass level. 362 days of fun. Visit ThisIsThePass.com. I'm thinking saltwater taffy. That's what we throw onto the ice. I wonder if it'll stick on the ice. <laughs> Maybe in be, packages. It would be a mess to clean up for sure. KSL News Time 645. <laughs> The three things you need to know this hour. First, Garfield County Sheriff's deputies are warning residents near Penguich Lake of possible flooding if a crack in the ice-covered top portion of that dam causes it to break. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson. Second, the International Olympic Committee is in town to tour Utah's Olympic venues over the next several days. Third, it's traffic and weather together. I-15 traffic is still clear, at least through Salt Lake, Davis, and Utah counties. We do have some uh, city street traffic, but not as much as what feels like a typical weekday, at least so far. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The warming trend continues today with 70s expected tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national story. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. Arizona State Supreme Court ruling this week to uphold a law from 1864 that bans nearly all abortions, the only exception being to save the life of the mother. ABC's Rachel Scott has more. Anti-abortion rights groups are celebrating this decision, insisting that it protects the lives of countless unborn children. The justices in Arizona have now put this ruling on hold for 14 days, so abortion clinics in that state tell us that they still plan to continue to provide their services for a short period of time. An independent investigation is underway in Chicago. Police body cam just now releasing following a traffic stop last month that resulted in the shooting death of 26-year-old Dexter Reed. Police say he fired one shot at them. They responded with 96 shots in 41 seconds. The latest inflation numbers are now out. Analysts had predicted the consumer prices would be up about 3.5% from last year. It's more like 4%. Those numbers will be one of the things that the Fed uses to set interest rates at its next meeting. This is ABC News. Well, by the way, on the heels of those uh, CPI numbers this morning, the Dow down 430 points mm. in the last 10 minutes. 
but right now. The trial of Chad Daybell. Special coverage on KSL News Radio. Chad Daybell's trial begins today. Could take much longer than his wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, since the death penalty is on the line. We're hoping to connect uh, this morning with our legal analyst, Greg Scordis, who is there in Boise. We get our first look, I guess, at the jury today. And, and you can't make assumptions from the way people look physically as mm-hmm. to how they might ultimately decide on the evidence. But I, I always worry about that. I think serving on a jury is such an admirable thing and an important thing for all of us to at least you know, go and try to do if we're called. Um, but I worry about them seeing evidence that might stick in their minds for the rest of their lives well, in a case like this. And you know, over the uh, coverage that we've had over the last week or so, while that selection was going on, that they took painstaking efforts to tell and warn these jurors what they're kind of mm-hmm. going to be looking at, what they're going to have to decide, that the death penalty is there. How long it will take. And the grandfather of those two uh, uh, grandchildren were saying they're going to see some things that they aren't going to be able to forget. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's interesting because you want someone who's able to to tolerate it, but you don't want somebody who's really excited about it either. Yeah. You don't want somebody in there who's like, I can't wait to see the these. So how do you find, you have to find, and this is the, what the lawyers and the judge do is they're questioning these people, to find the people who are the right citizens to make these decisions. These opening arguments are going to be interesting. I heard Greg uh, briefly on yesterday. He was on throughout the day and will continue to, uh, you know, check in with us from Boise. But he was talking about how the defense team for uh, Chad Daybell is going to have to somehow find a degree or two of separation between he and Lori mm-hmm. Vallow Daybell and somehow make her out to be the bad guy yeah. who was pushing for all of these things to happen. Like she tried to do with him. Right. Uh, and I don't know what other defense you could have mm-hmm. at this point. Right. But however this plays out, and we heard this from uh, Peter uh, Johnston earlier this morning, whatever this decision is and however long this court case takes, there's going to be appeals mm-hmm. that could go on for decades. Right. So uh, this court case will be following however long it takes. They're estimating, what, two and a half months, something mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. uh, is something that's very much going to be uh, in the public eye for maybe years and decades to imagine, come. Imagine being the employer. And suddenly, suddenly you're you're called to the jury, Tim, and you're going to be gone for two and a half months. What a hardship that! But we accept this as an important part of being a citizen of this free country, and so I get it. But man, that that could be hardship for some employers. Yeah, Greg's not the only one that's there. Of course, he's our legal analyst, but uh, Adam Small is also in Boise, and we're looking forward to talking with him in the next hour. And again, before we uh, sneak out of here at nine o'clock this morning, six forty-nine. Time for a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to twenty cents a gallon and he's back in the traffic center and right now travel through the valley starting to get a bit heavy on i-15 coming over 215's overpass bangeter's got some slowing at 4700 south hearing that there might be a crash in that intersection as well or just before it and then additional slowdowns at the lights at 41st 35th going up towards the 201 freeway in tooele county the slowing we had in stansbury park for a touch is gone but there is a little bit of waiting through lake point right before i-80 heather no accidents reported in weburn davis counties but we do have some congestion now trying to get into hill air force base especially at the west gate in clearfield traffic is starting to back up onto main street both northbound and southbound trying to get onto 650 north if you're on i-15 you also have some pretty heavy pockets of traffic now as you make your way between clearfield and farmington but for the most part you're still at free Freeway speeds everywhere else in Weburn Davis counties. Eric. Northbound on Mountain View Corridor in uh, Utah County uh, starting to slow up uh, from SR 73 heading up to Redwood Road. Uh, still, the uh, congestion spots are kind of minimal at this point. Uh, there is a little bit of extra volume now on 2100 North eastbound from 2300 West over to the freeway. I-15 looks good throughout Utah County. Got one crash in Provo Canyon. This is westbound at Canyon View uh, before you get to the mouth of the canyon. Discover the power of hands-on learning at Tooele Technical College. With affordable, flexible, and achievable technical education, your future begins here. Apply today at tuolatech.edu. That's tuolatech.edu. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast is looking like an absolute beaut. 62 today, sunny skies, goes to a perfect 71 tomorrow, sunny skies. And we bump it up to 78 on the warm side Friday with mostly sunny skies. A couple of clouds lingering on Saturday, 75, a little bit cooler. Partly cloudy, 69 on Sunday. Monday, more clouds, 63. 
We drop it off to 60 degrees on Tuesday, mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Well, buckle up. It looks like it's going to be a bumpy ride on the markets today. The uh, Dow briefly dropped 500 a minute ago. It's now down 479. I didn't realize this. We have those CPI numbers out this half hour that it actually shows the sharpest 12-month rise in consumer prices since September. Markets don't like it. We'll uh, check money news next. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This joyful sound is the No More Chemo Bell at Intermountain Health St. George Hospital. And it means that Sarah Parker beat cancer. It also means her doctor spotted it early enough to treat and that her oncologist helped her fight it every step of the way. It means that her nurse helped her keep track of medicines and that a case manager made the whole experience just a little bit easier. Every time we hear that bell, it reminds us that all things are possible when we work together. It reminds us of the power of we. Intermountain Health. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Not just a Costco craze, everyone is suddenly buying gold. The price of gold is up 16.5% year over year, reaching $2,364 an ounce. Utah Valley University broke ground on their $20 million soccer stadium. The money to build it came from a donation from Utah Community Credit Union. It should be ready for play by the 2025 season. Toyota is the latest automaker that wants uh, customers to be able to change the color of their cars. It's not paint or vinyl wrapping, but good old heat and light. The thermal technology will have drivers go through a uh, tunnel-like garage where the paint will be heated. You just mentioned this, but man, you're right. The markets are just taking a dive in the futures markets. Dow futures are off 465. That's one and two tenths percent. The S&P is off 73, which is one and four tenths. And the NASDAQ futures are down 272. That is one and a half percent. Well, we were just looking at or talking about gold. It's down about uh, almost eight dollars an ounce. That's uh, three tenths. They're, what they're focusing on, obviously, is that this <clears throat> may not uh, encourage the feds to drop interest right. rates again. And so there's another headline that's popped up here from J.P. Morgan. Uh, one of the uh, higher ups there in the in the uh, front office says the Fed has it backwards and that the rates need to be cut to lower inflation. How would that work? So I don't know, but uh, that's going to be you know the the back and forth now for a while is what happens to these because we were promised yeah. three different cuts this year. Well, maybe you know I see that that if if people could spend more, maybe it would make it would drive prices down. I don't know. I, I am. I have no idea. I'm the wrong person to no. ask about it, but we'll leave that to the experts. And remember, yesterday we were reporting that uh, Jamie Dimon thinks that interest rates could hit eight percent or more with all of the geopolitical uh, unrest around the world. Something we're going to watch, and we'll have more on the markets. The closing bell, of course, coming away this afternoon on your way home with Jeff Kaplan's afternoon news. We'll check uh, traffic and weather together next. This is Jeff Stout with Fink & McGregor, Mortgages Made Simple. Over the years, I have seen a lot of down payment assistance programs. Most of them just aren't practical for one reason or another, but we have one now that is pretty solid. This program is for first-time home buyers or some buyers who have been out of the market for several years. It includes a gift of up to $4,000 to help with the down payment. Given that this program only calls for a 3% down payment in the first place, this gift can be a real game changer. Some restrictions apply. 
One restriction is that the household income cannot be over a certain amount, which for most areas along the Wasatch Front is around $85,000 annual income. Call us today if you want to take a look. Fink and McGregor, Mortgages Made Simple, 801-264-9494. That's 264-9494. Or on the web at finkmcgregor.com. NMLS 289115. In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. You don't just provide cookie-cutter portfolios? No, we tailor our clients' portfolios to their goals and needs. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission-based products. We're a fiduciary, the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. It means we're obligated to act in our clients' best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep, we have one transparent management fee structured, so we do better when our clients do better. Sounds like you really look out for your clients. We do, because our priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. That might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly, different money management. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. Don't be worried. Be ready. KSL News Radio and Be Ready Utah invite you to participate in the world's largest earthquake drill. The Great Utah Shakeout on Thursday, April 18th. Be part of the 1 million people in Utah who will drop, cover, and hold on. And listen to our show, Dave and Dijanovic, for tips on how your family can be ready for any emergency and learn how to keep a cool head. Be ready, Utah, with KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, looking at a crash, 4700 south in Bangor. It's actually at the uh, left turn lane that would put you onto westbound 47 south. So northbound coming down the hill from uh, 5400 south, Taylorsville and Bangor is what's seeing the backups. Uh, but you can still go through the intersection. It's only affecting people who wanted to make that left turn. No I-15 delays so far this morning. I-80 from Tooele to the airport still clear as well. Heather? We still have good speeds on I-15 southbound from Ogden to Salt Lake, although traffic's getting pretty heavy at this point in all the typical areas. You'd where you do have your biggest backup is both at the south gate and west gates of Hill Air Force Base in Layton and Clearfield, but not huge delays. Eric? And no problems in Utah County right now. I-15 looks good as you head from Provo to Lee High. One crash in Provo Canyon. This is westbound at Canyon View. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale. Starting at just $39 a foot, visit BedrockQuartz.com. That's BedrockQuartz.com. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. You know, it shows no clouds in the forecast today, but there, there's plenty of them out there already this morning. We'll reach a high of 62 and it's 45 this hour. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock on Utah's Morning News. Good morning, I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story on the 7 o'clock report. Opening arguments begin in just a few hours in the trial of Chad Daybell. It's a case with even higher legal stakes than the Lori Vallow Daybell trial. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston joins us live. Peter? Amanda, the reason for these high stakes is because Chad Daybell is facing the death penalty. And Lori Vallow Daybell did not. KSL's legal analyst says this could make the trial much longer than hers because the case is actually split in two parts. First, the jury will weigh these, this case in a guilt phase, and then will follow it up with a penalty phase. Our analyst adds, in the case of a conviction and or a death sentence, the end of this trial could be just the beginning of a decade-long legal process. He says Daybell's legal team will be sure to make multiple appeals that will have to travel through state and federal courts. Chad Daybell is facing charges of the murder of his wife, uh, and Lori Vallow Daybell's two children, Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. KSL News Radio's Adam Small continues our live team coverage, where he'll be at the courthouse in Boise, where jurors file into the courtroom this morning. Adam? Yeah, Peter, we expect the Ada County Courthouse to be absolutely packed for this trial, just as Lori Vallow Daybell's trial was last year. There's only a handful of seats, and they were booked in a matter of seconds yesterday, so we know that the seats are going to be completely full as the jury comes in this morning. Uh, people attending in person are expected to arrive at 8 o'clock with opening statements starting uh, not long after that. 
And unlike Lori's trial, this one is going to be streamed online from beginning to end. So it is going to be a lot easier to follow this as this plays out, though this trial could last a couple of months uh, before we even potentially reach a stage where the jury could make a verdict. You can catch today's hearing and the rest of the trial on the KSL News YouTube channel. And I'll be at the courthouse to give you the very latest coverage all day. Reporting live in Boise, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. While we wait to connect with our Greg Scotus, let's take a look at the weather now with Matt Johnson. It'll be a beautiful spring week, and the temps are doing their part. Looking like an absolute beaut. 62 today, sunny skies, goes to a perfect 71 tomorrow, sunny skies. And we bump it up to 78 on the warm side Friday with mostly sunny skies. A couple of clouds lingering on Saturday, 75, a little bit cooler. Partly cloudy, 69 on Sunday. We'll start off next week with some cloud cover in the low 60s. Let's take you back to Boise now and KSL's legal analyst, Greg Scordas. Can you walk us through what will happen today, Greg? Yes, um, we're about an hour, hour and a half away from uh, opening statements. Uh, we expect the state to start right close to 830. I imagine those uh, remarks will go about 45 to minutes to an hour. And then the defense, and I think a lot of us are really anticipating, Amanda, the defense openings to see what, if anything, Chad's going to do. Because if you recall, Lori uh, didn't call any witnesses, didn't really present any defense except to just attack the state's case as being insufficient. And uh, looking back, that was not the best defense, and she was obviously convicted. So I think Chad's got to put something on, and we'll hear what that's going to be uh, today. Greg, with all of your experience in court, uh, I'm curious how much emphasis you put as far as a jury's decision on opening arguments on either side. That's a great question. I think scholars go back and forth. I've done a lot of jury trials. And, and some people will tell you that a lot of your jurors, or at least several of them, will will make up their minds right after opening remarks. They'll They'll come to an opinion at that point. So you can't understate them. You have to give one. Some people don't even don't even bother with opening statements, but you absolutely have to do that. You have to come out of the chute strong. This jury wants to know what's going on with the case. They want to know what the evidence is going to be and what they're going to be listening to for the next two months. So I would expect both of these statements today, Tim, to be very compelling, very, uh, very thorough and a good uh, sort of snapshot of what their case is going to be. Do you have any sense as to what part, if any, his mental state or religious beliefs will come into play in his defense? You know, Amanda, I wouldn't think that he's going to get very far using any of that as, a, as an excuse or as a justification. I just don't. Lori had some mental health issues. She was even declared incompetent for some time where she couldn't even stand trial. Chad hasn't even alleged that. So I don't think mental state is going to be an issue here. I think he's probably going to blame uh Lori a little bit, his his wife and Alex Cox, uh, other and who is now deceased, because it's easy to blame somebody who's not in the courtroom. So I think that's where his defense is going to lie. And what time does that get underway this morning? Well, hopefully eight thirty. But this case is sort of <laughs> dragged on at a snail's pace, so it may start at nine, it may start at ten. But uh, there, the schedule is to begin at eight thirty. We should have this done. We should have openings done, Tim, before noon today. All right, we'll check back in with you. Thank you so much for that, Greg. First look traffic now on the 7 o'clock report, and here's Andy Farnsworth. And right now, got backups on Bangor Highway getting worse between 54 and 4700 South. A pretty bad crash blocking the left turn lane to 47 and taking away the left lane of travel. So we've only got two of the three lanes open. Bangor coming down the hill in Taylorsville. Big delay. Rest of the drive, not as bad. Don't have any other uh, big slow spots. I-15 still looking good throughout Salt Lake Davis and Utah counties. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. And we have a developing story. Consumer price increases remain high last month, boosted by gas, rents, and car insurance. Those core prices were up 3.8%. The government report out this morning will likely influence the Federal Reserve as it weighs when and by how much to cut interest rates this year. Human remains found in a remote part of Box Elder County are presumed to belong to a young man who went missing almost two years ago. KS News Radio's Michael Commit is live with more. Michael? Amanda, 19-year-old Dylan Rounds was working in the western part of the county when he went missing back in May of 2022, following an odd run-in with a stranger. That stranger, James Brenner, was later charged of aggravated murder and desecration of a human body. Rounds' presumed remains were discovered later near the ghost town of Lucen. 
The remains are now with the state medical examiner to confirm whether they truly are Round's remains. The sheriff's office offer their sincerest condolences to the Round's family for what has been an exceptionally challenging case. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour fall out in Arizona this morning after the state Supreme Court upheld a law from 1864 that bans abortion in nearly all circumstances. Arizona's Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs is urging voters to have the final say this fall. To the people across Arizona who are concerned about the future of abortion rights in our state, who are worried about their bodily autonomy, who don't want to see the freedom of their wives, sisters, and daughters restricted, you can make your concerns known at the ballot box, and I encourage you to do so. The only exception for an abortion in the law is if a mother's life is in danger. The law set to take effect in two weeks. Political analyst Mike O'Neill at our sister station KTAR in Phoenix says the court ruling, ruling will bring a lot of attention and people to the ballot box this November. The first impact of this is likely to be a huge boost for the citizen initiative to enshrine abortion rights in the Arizona Constitution. He says the proposed constitutional amendment guarantees a woman's right to get an abortion until around 24 weeks of pregnancy. Free health screenings will soon be available for elementary students in the Provo City School District. Dr. Norman Wright is the president of Norda College of Osteopathic Medicine, and he says they are partnering with the school district to have their medical students perform basic health checks on things like vital signs, height and weight, basic dental, and vision. The school has always started with a bit of a vision and a mission to make a difference in the lives of our students, but also in the lives of our community. Their first free health screening fair will be at Timpanogos Elementary School on May 1st for families who opt in. 709 Traffic and Weather Together is brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon, and we've got a problem on Bangor Highway. Yep, a crash right at 4700 South. It's blocking those uh, two left turn lanes uh, that are separate that are just before the intersection. And it's got traffic backed up over the top of 5400 South right now, which means after the 62nd intersection, if you don't turn off onto 5400, you're going to have to wait through all of that back up down the hill. Mountain View is starting to get pretty busy as well, 4100 to 3500 South. I-15, uh, heavy around uh, 215, but that's about it between Draper and downtown. Still a 20-minute drive, Heather. No brake lights yet on I-15 or Legacy Parkway, northbound or southbound between Ogden and downtown Salt Lake. It's pretty heavy, though, southbound 15 between Clearfield and Farmington. You also have heavier pockets of traffic in Clearfield, both trying to get into Hill Air Force Base and around the school zones right now. Eric. Still got one crash out in Provo Canyon this morning, so it is a dry drive uh, through the mountains, but we had a westbound crash at uh, the uh, uh, just about a mile before the uh, mouth of the canyon. This is at Canyon View Park, uh, not causing delays, though, and, and we would still have a crash on the board uh, north of Mona. This was a, a rollover, a truck rollover, as, as you about three miles north of Mona before you get out of Juab County and head up to Santa Quin. Otherwise, I-15 looks good and, uh, throughout uh, Utah County. You're not going to have any trouble there uh, from Santa Quin to Point of the Mountain. That's a 30-minute drive. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's Price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brands you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL hourly forecast starting out at 7 a.m. We got mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the low 40s. By the lunch hour, 57. Still blue skies out there. And then we've got sunshine into the afternoon. Highs topping out in the low 60s. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, 45 degrees. Coming up in just a moment on KSL, we'll tell you more about why the buildings in Salt Lake looked gold last night. <laughs> the IOFC members are here in town. More just ahead on KSL. A middle school girl in Lehigh may have saved the life of another student back in November. Lehigh Police School Resource Officer Corporal Jake Smith uh, tells KSL TV that he received a tip from a girl that another student had a gun. I did a search of the backpack and found a 45 caliber handgun in his backpack. The officer says he found disturbing notes in the student's backpack. Smith worked with the boy's mother to get him into a treatment facility. Changes are coming to the WIC program. Uh, the, the new changes offer more choices to make sure that WIC participants have access to all of the essential nutrients that they need. 
to support healthy growth and development. Jodell Geilman Park is Utah's WIC vendor manager, and she says the changes will put a stronger emphasis on fresh produce. This will be the first change to the WIC program in a decade. Kids love Lunchables, but Consumer Reports says anything similar to the cheese, meat, and snack cracker kits should never be on a school lunch menu. The group's report says the version often showing up in schools has has, uh, even more sodium than the uh, version sold in grocery stores. The report also found that small levels of lead and uh, cadmium, 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 cadmium? I don't know. Help me. Uh, In many different versions of Lunchables, but nothing above the legal limit. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources is looking for a suspect after a bald eagle was shot near Cedar City back in February. Officers say it looked like it was shot with a rifle and the bird had to be put down. The bald eagle has been heavily protected since 1940. Killing one or even taking its feathers could result in felony charges. The DWR wants anyone with information to give them a call. Stop me if you've heard this before, but the Jazz lost. Uh, They dropped their 13th straight game, falling at home to the Denver Nuggets. The Jazz currently have the eighth worst record in the NBA with just three games left in the regular season. They'll face the Houston Rockets in their final home game of the season tomorrow night. Sportsbooks may have been the biggest winners during the NCAA championship games. FanDuel tells us the men's championship game saw a 52% increase in the number of bets over last year and a 42% jump in the handle or the amount wager. DraftKings says it was the most bet college basketball game of all time. And Caesar says it saw the most single game parlays. Those are the popular bets on the sports books of all time. And the sports books hit the jackpot with women's college basketball. South Carolina's undefeated season, Iowa's Caitlin Clark fueled the biggest single women's sporting event for betting of all time for both FanDuel and BetMGM. That's CNBC's Contessa Brewer reporting. Politics aren't dividing Utah singles the way they divide other states. Many Americans, especially millennials and Gen Z, say different politics are a dating deal breaker. But most Utah singles don't. 77% of single Utahns are willing to date across the political spectrum, according to a poll from the website Dating Advice. That's more than the national average, which sits at 63%. It's the state with the fourth highest rate. Less of those singles are partnering up and getting married, too. The Hill reports that in 2016, 30% of marriages were politically mixed, but by 2020, only 21% were. Alexandria Bonia, KSL News Radio. Trending this hour on the 7 o'clock report, Warner Brothers teased a highly anticipated sequel at CinemaCon this week. The juice is loose. <laughs> <laughs> I I loved that movie an unnatural amount, I, I admit. <laughs> Michael Keaton will return for his iconic role as Beetlejuice. I just don't do two roles, two shows a night. Yeah. <gasps> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, it will come out this fall. Other movie trailers released were the sequel to Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. Oh, that's right, starring Lady Gaga. Mm-hmm. Lady Gaga and Furiosa, a Mad Max saga come in. Did you love Beetlejuice, too? I loved Beetlejuice. And, you know, the, the uh, rumors in the beginning when this started kind of making its way around social media were that Michael Keaton was sort of lukewarm to the idea. Really? But he's out this morning on his uh, Twitter account, his ex account, and he says he thinks it's fantastic. I myself am strange and unusual. (laughs) The juice is loose, (laughs) even in the studio here this morning. KSL News Time 715. The three things you need to know this hour. First, a brand new jury will hear the opening arguments in the Chad Daybill trial this morning. And if convicted, he faces the death penalty. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, human remains found in a remote part of Box Elder County are presumed to belong to a young woman who went missing almost two years ago. A young man, excuse me, young man who went missing. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Backups on Bangor are pretty thick, 54 to 4700 south. A crash blocking the left turn lanes, but they have reopened the third lane of the main flow. You just right now can't make a turn from northbound Bangor to westbound 4700 south. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll jump another 5 to 7 degrees today with a high of 62. I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a look at our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. 
No cooling of inflation. The government releasing consumer price index numbers this morning. Those are used to set interest rates. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. If you're worried about how high your credit card APR is or you're waiting to buy a home until mortgage rates come down, you might have to wait a little bit longer after today's report. And that's because inflation is climbing faster than expected, up 0.4% between February and March, up 3.5% from a year ago. The big culprits, mostly unavoidable. Gasoline prices, housing, food, all rising. The March reading the third straight month that inflation readings have been well above the Fed's 2% target rate. Abortion providers in Arizona will have two weeks to get in line with a near total ban on the practice because of a ruling handed down yesterday by the state Supreme Court. ABC's Rachel Scott. Arizona is bracing for one of the strictest abortion bans in the country after the state Supreme Court revived a 160 year old law. The law was written in 1864, before Arizona was even a state and before women had the right to vote. No exceptions for rape or incest, only to protect the mother's life. The House GOP plan to present articles of impeachment targeting Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was supposed to happen today. Now, however, it's on hold. The Democratic-controlled Senate is not about to convict the Homeland Security Secretary over what basically amounts to a policy dispute with Republicans. So the question is, will there even be a trial in the Senate, or will the charges be summarily dismissed? To ensure there's perfect attendance by Republicans when that vote is called, House leadership has decided to continue to hold the articles until next week. ABC National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy. This is Eid for Muslims worldwide, the final day of Ramadan, the celebration overshadowed by the worsening humanitarian crisis in Gaza. You're listening to ABC News. Let's go in depth now. Overnight, and you may have even seen this still this morning if you got up early, several buildings in downtown were transformed with a golden glow. Salt Lake Chamber President and CEO Derek Miller says it's all part of the effort to convince members of the International Olympic Committee that we're ready to host another Olympic Games. We've got our historic city building on 4th South that will be lit up. Some of our new buildings like 95 South, State Street, the Gateway, some of our new apartment buildings. We're just excited to have them participate. Miller said the idea of transforming downtown buildings didn't just come from one person. Very rarely is it one individual. It's really a coming together of community. That's really the spirit of the Olympics and certainly what has helped us to be successful in 2002 and what will help us to be successful in 2034, which is a community effort. He says the 2002 Games were the first Olympic Games that brought more money to the community than they spent to host. Part of that money was used as an endowment that's still being used today. The idea of the endowment fund was to keep our Olympic venues going, one, to serve the communities where they were located, number two, to house some of those Olympic teams like our ski team and like our skating team at the Oval with the hope that one day the Olympics would come back and that we'd be able to utilize those venues again, which is exactly what is coming to fruition. Look, we just do it better than anybody else has ever <laughs> done it. Uh, Miller says they hope lighting the buildings will help show the IOC members it's not just people but business who want to host another Olympic Games here. You know, I noticed this morning, just quick, I wanted to share with you that the AP wrote a story. This is a national story about, and the AP story said, many other past Olympic hosts around the world have decided in recent years that bringing back the Games isn't worth the money or the hassle. But Salt Lake City remains one of the few places where Olympic fever still burns strong. Yeah. Don't you love that? And it was embraced, uh, as the story we just said, um, not just by business and, and corporate sponsors, but as individuals. Yes. We're known as a volunteer state, and people are just jonesing to do it again. Matter of fact, they've already started signing up volunteers. Have they? Oh, that's cool. Uh, so anyway, I have no doubt that it'll be the second most successful uh <laughs> Winter Olympic Games ever when they come here in 2034. I'm still looking forward to it. That's the end up this morning at 15 and 45. Let's get another look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Traffic backed up still on Bangor from 54th to 47th South in Taylorsville. Still can't make the left turn onto uh, north or onto westbound 4700 South, but all three lanes are able to go through the intersection. Uh, still got some 201 freeway delays in Magna near 8400 West. Some minor backups on Mountain View at the usual stretch at 3500 south and i-15 still all clear from draper to salt lake heather we're still looking great on the freeways in weber and davis county that includes i-84 us 89 i-15 which has most of your traffic heading south towards salt lake city streets are getting very busy though and you're going to have a lot of extra congestion now in ogden roy and clearfield
Eric. Getting over to the freeway, again, a little bit busy in the north part of Utah County, both on Timpanogos Highway, Pioneer Crossing, and a Mountain View Corridor as it turns into 2100 North. I-15 remains good, though. You're still at a normal travel time, 28 minutes from Payson up to Point of the Mountain. Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 78 forecast looking pretty good if I say so myself. 62 today. Sunny skies up to 71 tomorrow. Sunny. Mostly sunny on Friday. Couple of clouds scooting in here. But a mild high of 78 we dial it back to 75, mostly sunny on Saturday. Sunday, 69, partly cloudy. A little California storm tries to move on in here on Monday, 63, still just mostly cloudy. We drop to 60 on Tuesday with more clouds. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees, we'll have that sun up here in just a second. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. If you ever get in the car or you're just waking up in the morning and thinking, man, I, I need the latest newscast, but I'm not here at the top or the bottom of the hour. It's super easy to get the last newscast we did on our podcast. Yeah, you may not know. Those are available uh, almost instantaneously, yeah. but certainly same day. You can get uh, a look at what the headlines were and what the coverage was, particularly with this Daybell case. We had both Adam Small and Greg Scordis from Boise this hour. Right. So you just, uh, wherever you get your podcast, look up Utah's Morning News and follow us there or download the KSL News Radio app and listen to the podcast there to get the most current newscast when it's convenient for you. Some of these things you may not want to hear again, like what the markets are doing right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll take a look at money news next. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. Westminster University is a private, independent, and comprehensive university dedicated to student learning. Dax Jacobson, Dean of the Bill and Vive Gore School of Business at Westminster University, joins us with more. At Westminster University, we are dedicated to providing distinctive academic programs that prepare students for lifelong learning and help professionals adapt to a changing social, technological, and economic world. In addition to traditional undergraduate and graduate business programs, we are a pioneer in online, project-based undergraduate business courses and degrees. For example, our Bachelor of Business Administration degree is an online program that takes just 12 to 18 months to complete ideal for working professionals and adult learners. Rather than attending lectures and taking tests, students receive one-on-one -on -one mentoring from faculty as they complete real-life projects that are relevant to their career, skills, and interests. Plus, thanks to a generous donation from the Fenton Family Foundation, VBA students can apply for a scholarship that reduces the cost of the program to as little as $2,500 per semester. Visit westminsteru.edu to learn more. If you're seeking to complete your degree, progress in your career, or simply enhance your skills with the convenience of an online program, Westminster's Bachelor of Business Administration might be for you. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. Hi everyone, it's Congressman Blake Moore here. Representing Utah's priorities in Congress and providing top-notch constituent services at the heart of everything Team Moore does. We've had great success helping Utahns with expedited passports, visa processing, veterans benefits, immigration petitions, retirement issues, tax returns, and much more. If you need help navigating a federal agency, including the IRS, Social Security, the VA, Immigration Services, or Medicare, please give my office a call at 801-625-0107. That's 801-625-0107. We're also happy to help coordinate U.S. Capitol tours, take your comments, and provide legislative updates anytime. I also want to invite you to sign up for my weekly e-newsletter. We are soon entering what is called the political blackout period leading up to the primary election, meaning my office cannot reach out with updates and announcements unless you are subscribed to our communications. So sign up today at blakemore.house.gov. It's our honor to serve you and your family in Congress. Thank you. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. 4% of online global content creators make six figures a year, according to Goldman Sachs. YouTube, considered by creators to be one of the more lucrative platforms, has more than 3 million channels that earn money. Looks like it's going to cost a little more for stamps. The U.S. Postal Service uh, wants to raise the price by five cents. It would be the fourth increase since the start of 2023 with the last raise in January of this year. 
A majority of the nation's largest school districts don't offer some kind of paid paternity leave or maternity leave, according to a National Council of Teacher Quality. Those that do typically offer less than six weeks and it's only partially paid. I actually read this morning that teachers sometimes try and time their pregnancy so the baby's born in the summer mm. when they're not teaching. Oh, I wouldn't have to take some. But isn't that crazy? Yeah. And maybe even getting induced a little early. Yeah, I wonder. You know, if it's a, a safe time to do it. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, all right, if you're just joining us this morning, you missed the fact that our CPI report came out this morning. Sharpest 12-month rise in consumer prices since September, and the markets went, whoo! The uh, Dow down 432 points right now. That's 1.1%. The S&P is off 69, 1.3%. The NASDAQ down about the same percentage-wise with a loss of 260 points. We've got a problem on the Bangor Highway in, where is that? It's like 4700 South. We're going to check it just ahead on KSL. If there's a problem during your siding, gutter, or window installation project, most contractors will try to hide it, ignore it, or blame someone else. It's called passing the buck or turning a blind eye, or my favorite, finger pointing. My question is, where is the accountability? Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors, and look, sometimes problems just happen. No matter who you hire, maybe the wrong color siding gets delivered, despite the order being placed perfectly, or maybe a downspout gets cut short, Honestly, it could be anything. At RGS Exteriors, mistakes are rare. But if something goes wrong, I can absolutely, positively, 100% guarantee you we'll never hide it and we'll never pass the buck. We'll make certain everything turns out right for you. That's people over profits. That's the RGS Exteriors way. For a free estimate on siding, gutters, or windows, call 801-280-3110, rgsexteriors.com, rgsexteriors.com April in Utah means warmer temps, spring runoff, and yes, road work. For every spring surprise, rely on KSL News Radio. Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon cover what happened overnight from 5 to 9. Dave and Debbie and Boyd Matheson have in-depth conversation during the day. And Jeff Kaplan takes you home with his trademark minute of news. All season, every day. We have you covered on KSL News Radio. Get ready for spring with the Greenhouse Show and Advanced Window Products. Affordable windows sold direct to the public at 3052 South 460 West from 8 to 11. The Greenhouse Show this Saturday. Let's get that look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here's Andy Farnsworth. Delays continue to be an issue on Bangor Highway between 54 and 4700 South. The main flow moving a little better, but you still can't make the left turn on to 47th from northbound Bangor. Still have delays on Mountain View going up through West Valley at 35th South. I-15 delay-free between uh, 123rd South and downtown, but uh, if you're on 201, you're going to have to wait through some backups between 84 and 7200 West in Magna. Heather? We've got our first slowdowns of the morning on I-15. This is southbound leaving 31st Street and Ogden heading into Roy. That is due to lane restrictions that happen every about this time every morning. Once you get past it, though, you're at freeway speeds the entire way into downtown Salt Lake. Eric. A northbound crash coming out of Juab County, uh, about three miles north of Mona. Uh, that's still being tended to, but once you get into Utah County, I-15 looks just fine from Santa Quinn Pace and all the way up to Thanksgiving Point. Uh, the busy spots are at the usual spots over on 2100 North and Mountain View Corridor uh, as it approaches uh, Redwood Road and then turns into 2100 North and northbound on Redwood Road uh, going up to the gate of uh, Camp Williams. Use superior water and air for all your HVAC and plumbing needs. Call 97 97- 9090 or visit superiorwaterandair.com. Superior Water and Air. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Today is going to be beautiful, a high of 62, lots of sunshine, and right now it's 45 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 7:30. KSL's top story this hour. Some people in parts of Garfield County are being told to prepare to evacuate this morning because of a crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. Emergency workers were at the site of the dam all night long. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson begins our team coverage. A flash flood watch was issued last night after a crack was found on the top two feet of the dam that flows from Panguitch Lake. We've noticed that there's some transverse cracking across the dam. Garfield County Sergeant Tom Talbot says the damage seems to have come from ice in that top portion. Deputies say dam 
damaged. The dam is not yet severe enough to warrant immediate evacuations. Just to be on the safe side, they've closed a stretch of SR-143 and accessed Panguitch Lake. The evacuation map was released last night, and deputies say it is important for nearby residents to make sure they have emergency kits to include water, food, medication, and important documents. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Dam failures have happened in Utah in the past, and KSL News Radio's Michael Commit continues our live team coverage. Michael? Tim, what we're seeing near Panguitch isn't as new to Utah and neighboring states as you'd suspect. Most recently, the 21 Mile Dam failed in Elko County, Nevada, back in February of 2017. Montella was flooded, but we only saw road damage in Utah's extreme northwest. But what was definitely more noticeable was the lob detention dam break back in 2012. Severe storms and rain led up to the dam failure, and many homes, businesses, and roads paid the price. Now, fortunately, nobody's died from a dam break since the 80s. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. The International Olympic Committee kicks off its tour of Utah's venues for the 2034 Winter Games today. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our live team coverage. Peter? Amanda, Olympic officials want to see firsthand how Utah's infrastructure looks a decade out from the Games, and they're going to get a show. First, they'll take a seat in a Rice Eccles Stadium at the University of Utah for the opening presentation this morning, and then they'll board a special tracks train that runs from Fort Douglas to the Delta Center, according to a news release from the Games Committee. Over the next couple of days, the officials will visit all the legacy Olympic sites, including Snow Basin, Soldier Hollow, and the Olympic Oval in Kearns. Their tour wraps up on Saturday. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Downtown Salt Lake City took on a golden hue overnight and early this morning. The transformation of those buildings is all part of the effort to showcase Utah to the International Olympic Committee. Lighting up the buildings downtown in gold in celebration of, of course, with the Olympics, the gold medal, the top spot. And we continue to be optimistic that Utah will be the top spot for the 2034 Winter Games. Salt Lake Chamber President and CEO Derek Miller says those buildings will continue to be lit up through Saturday while the IOC members are in town for a final evaluation before awarding the Games. Don Brinker. KSL News Radio. More news involving the Olympics this morning. Track and field is set to become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Olympics. The prize money will come out of the share of Olympic revenue that the IOC distributes to world athletics and other governing bodies of individual sports. Track and field gold medalists will get $50,000 across 48 events. Relay teams will split the $50,000 between members. Payments for silver and bronze medalists are planning to start happening, I guess, at the 2028 games in Los Angeles. That's exciting. Yeah, and some people would say long overdue. Yeah. uh, But I just wonder how much of this may have been influenced by the NIL of college athletes athletes who are going to be largely yeah. those that are competing in these events. Right, uh, They're getting paid to play whatever their sport of choice is uh, on campus, so why not do it when you're representing mm-hmm. your country? Our top national story this hour, House Speaker Mike Johnson delaying the articles of impeachment against Homeland Security's uh, uh, Alejandro Mayorkas until at least next week. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he's ready to go when the articles of impeachment are transmitted from the House. He says he's going to try to resolve this as quickly as possible. As I said in the past, it's absurd and there are no charges uh, in the uh, House complaint that rise to the level of impeachment. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy says he expects the trial to be dismissed. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. First look traffic now, and here is Andy Farnsworth. Right now, traffic backed up on Bangor, coming down the hill in Taylorsville towards 4700 South because of a crash. We've got increasing delays on Redwood Road, 2100 North in Lehigh, uh, SR 201 heading east through Magna, and some I-15 slowdown creeping in between the south end of Ogden and Riverdale and Roy. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A child tax credit bill is stalling in the U.S. Senate after some major changes. This bill builds on the $78 billion Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act. It passed in the House shortly after the year started. It would increase the child tax credit, multiplying it on a per-child basis and adjusting the credit amount for inflation. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo helped start the bill, but after changes to allow unemployed parents to cash in on the credit, he's killing it. He said the change transforms the credit from a working family tax relief into a government subsidy. Senator Mitt Romney is also opposing the bill, saying it will end up being another, quote, hugely expensive entitlement program. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. Almost half of all caregivers in Utah are reporting emotional and financial stress. 
KSL News Radio's Emma Keddington has more. Utah's unpaid family and friend caregivers balance a lot, and according to a new report from the Kemsey Gardner Institute, they're feeling the effects. Four in ten caregivers report feeling stressed financially and experience mental health concerns. Many need to make changes in how they work. More than a third of caregivers need to work virtually because of the care they provide for a loved one. Many indicate that government-funded financial support would be helpful. The report says family members jumping in to help the primary caregiver can help reduce the workload and the stress. The former treasurer of a homeowners association is facing jail time now for embezzlement. Sharon Gordon pled guilty to stealing more than $230,000 while she was the treasurer for the Lava Bluff HOA. A release from the United States Attorney's Office says Gordon diverted funds directly to her personal account, wrote checks to herself and her boyfriend, and then forged the signatures of other board members and deposited HOA checks representing member fees directly into her own account. In addition to spending a year and a day in home confinement, Gordon is required to pay nearly $80,000 in restitution. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. And coming up in a moment, I guess that I-15 in Murray and the Bangor through Taylorsville still getting slower for northbound vehicles. We'll check it next on KSL. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. You know, it's hard to believe that Dee and I have now been living in our new house for about nine years now. You know, the thing that has really surprised me is how many appliances we have had to have work on and even replace. You know, the one that we haven't replaced, haven't done any work on at all, have not had a minute's trouble with, it's the Kinetico Softwater System. And it's so interesting because when we were building the home, the builder said, okay, well, what do you want for a water softener? And I just interrupted. I said, oh, oh, wait, wait, we're going to go with Kinetico. And they just smiled at me like, yeah, we we know about Kinetico. Never once have we had an issue with our Kinetico soft water system, not only in our new home, but in our previous home as well. It just sits there in the basement, does its job, does it so much more efficiently than any other soft water system out there on the market today. Why don't you give them a call, 801-576-8600, or go to softwaterutah.com. This spring, get your lawn off to a good start with Revive Organic soil treatment greener grass using less water spread it or spray it revive it works you wouldn't know it but most financial advisors are put in a box i'm jeff jr from trajan wealth and i want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best, just suitable. Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. One of the stories we're going to continue to keep a very close eye on is the situation with that crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. Emergency workers on site of that dam all night long. And Amanda, after a little closer look, more concerned about the possibility of a breach there than there was yesterday at this time. That is concerning. They're talking about the possibility of uh, evacuations. We'll uh, follow that story wherever it leads this morning here on KSL. 739 now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Crash on the west side has popped up, getting reports that it's uh, just after 4100 south on Mountain View. It's pretty backed up from just before the intersection all the way down to 3500 south. The crash at uh, 47th and Bangor is still blocking the left turn lane on to 47th from northbound Bangor. With that delay, it's usually pretty busy this time of day anyway, but that crash is making it a little bit worse back into Taylorsville. First delay of the morning on I-15 
coming up between 30, well, about 45th South and 33rd South, pretty thick in that stretch. Heather? Our slowest traffic is southbound I-15 coming out of Weber County from 31st Street in Ogden down in Toroy. That is due to lane restrictions. The right lane is blocked with construction barrels. After that, you've got pretty good speeds till you get to Beck Street. Then you'll see a few brake lights the rest of the way into downtown Salt Lake. But there's no problems on Legacy Parkway or the West Side Belt if you use those to get to the airport. Eric? Foothill Drive, if you're getting off of uh, 215 East Belt or I-80, that's a little bit slow right away uh, as you go by Parley's Way and head up to about 1700 South End. When, that's when things start to get a little bit better. We got a little bit of slowing out on I-80 near the East Canyon exit for uh, primarily eastbounders going through that area. I-15, Utah County, northbound, southbound, no problems, but your usual delays on Redwood Road, Mountain View Corridor, and 2100 North. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need servicing. For quality service you can trust, visit your Utah Big O Tires, the team you trust. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Temperatures will be near normal for this time of year. 62 for the high, sunny skies, high pressure building. Overnight will drop off to 43. Tomorrow, 71 and sunny skies. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. And here comes that warm-up, 46 now in Salt Lake City. KSL's reporter Adam Small is in Boise for the opening arguments today of the Chad Daybell trial. We'll check in with Adam just ahead. Right now, though, it's time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. Trivia question. What is the most listened-to song from the 20th century? I'll give you a hint. The moment you hear the first notes on the piano, familiarity and warmth washes over you. Don't Stop Believing never hit number one on the charts, but this power ballad from 1981 keeps getting resurrected first as a sports anthem, as the soundtrack of the final scene of The Sopranos, and also on the TV show Glee. It remains ever popular. The song was composed by a down-on-his-luck keyboard player who joined Journey and said, Hey, I got this song I wrote when I was unemployed. Want to try it? Seems when he was looking for work, Jonathan Kane's dad told him, Don't stop believing or you're done, dude. So the band tries out the song with ridiculous lyrics. I mean, what's it about? Right, a city boy and a small town girl. Born and raised in South Detroit. There is no such thing as South Detroit. But they both took the midnight train, going anywhere. Cool story. That wasn't in the original lyrics, but the guitar sounded like a train rolling down the tracks, which reminded Kane of Midnight Train to Georgia. So next thing you know, city boy and small town girl are on a midnight train. And then finally, an unbelievable three minutes and 30 seconds into the song, an eternity in pop music, they finally get around to singing the three words that make it an inspiration to anybody who's down on their luck. Don't stop this song breaks every rule in the songwriting book, but 7 million copies later, the only other song from the 20th century with a billion streams also makes no sense. Bismillah. No, we will not let you go. Let him go. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. <laughs> Funny thing is, it makes no sense, but everybody sings along to every lyric <laughs> yes. on both. I just looked it up. There is no city called or no place called South Detroit. The location south of Detroit is the Canadian city of Windsor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jeff's back this afternoon, oh, by indeed. the way, at uh, 3 o'clock. <laughs> so be listening on your way home. <laughs> I got distracted. And the Jeff's Minute brought to you by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox. IRS harassing you? The Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. 
Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Wasatch Front Businesses and Property Managers. Go Pave Utah provides all asphalt repairs for your parking lot. For patching and paving along the Wasatch Front, contact Go Pave Utah. GoPaveUtah.com. KSL News Time, 745. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the International Olympic Committee kicks off a tour of Utah's venues for the 2034 Games today with a ride on tracks and a visit to Rice Eccles Stadium. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, some people in parts of Garfield County are being told to prepare to evacuate this morning because of growing concern over a crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Got crashes on uh, Bangor at 47 South, Mountain View near 4100 South, and a bunch of delays starting to appear on I-15 going up a little bit past 4500 South in Murray. Plus, foothills starting to slow a bunch up along the east bench of Salt Lake City. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The warming trend continues today with 70s expected tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. 46 right now at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. A new report from the government is not great for those who are hoping for an interest rate cut in the next couple of months. Inflation came in hotter than expected for the third month in a row. Gas, rent, and auto insurance all costing more. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. Today's report decreases the likelihood of a rate cut in June. That would have been the first rate cut in some time. And that means mortgage rates, car loans, those credit card APRs, they all stay higher for longer. Just before the opening bell, Dow futures were down more than 400 points. Reaction still continuing to come in to the Arizona Supreme Court's upholding of a law from the 1860s that bans all abortions in the state with no exceptions for rape or incest. The only time abortion would be legal in Arizona would be to save the life of the mother. Muslims around the world are celebrating Eid, the final day of Ramadan. President Biden telling the Univision he thinks Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made a mistake. The trial of Chad Daybell. Special coverage on KSL News Radio. We do have a team in Boise to cover today's opening arguments of the Chad Daybell trial. Joining us live from Boise is KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Is it starting to get crowded there already, Adam? Yeah, Amanda, they've already let a bunch of people in, and there is still a line of people hoping to find their way in either to the courtroom or potentially even an overflow room. We're not exactly sure if they've opened one this year. Uh, but yeah, it, it's already packed, been very busy here already for some time. Uh, before I got here just about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. Jury selection uh, was a little bit quicker than most had thought. Are there expectations you've heard there about how long these opening arguments might take? Well, I've been here with Greg, and like, and if any indication on the, the trials that he's covered, he said they usually only need maybe an hour or two um, or maybe an hour each roughly for the defense and the prosecution. Uh, so, I mean, he there's a chance that this whole procedure today could be done before noon, but, I mean, it's really hard to predict because, you know, this is a very high profile case. It, you know, every attorney is going to have a different uh, approach than maybe another lawyer would for this given case. And this is also a death penalty case. So, I mean, you know, that everyone's going to be bringing their A game. They're going to bring out, you know, if one side feels they want to call a witness. You know, that's obviously a possibility. So, I mean, you know, could be a quick procedure today, but I mean, you know, they're going to bring out all the stocks because, you know, the stakes couldn't be higher. Boise is a good sized city. I mean, it's got what a quarter million people in Boise. I, I wonder what kind of an impact a trial like this has on that community. Well, I mean, in terms of like how people get around, it's not too bad. I mean, I saw a pretty big impact, you know, uh, last year when Lori Vella Daybell was convicted. I mean, you had people like honking their cars. They drove by the courthouse. Um, but, I mean, the biggest impact really is, like, you know, the hotels here are just – the prices skyrocket. The, they're completely booked up because there is – there's so many people traveling from all over the country, media and just everyday people wanting to see a case like this. But, I mean, in terms of how Boise runs, I mean, it's all business as usual. But, I mean, they, they see the – all of us outside of a courthouse every day. They, they know what's going on. But, you know, thankfully they're still able to go on with their daily lives. All right, Adam. Uh, we've, we've got to let you go, but I'm curious, how much national – press is there or can you tell oh you've got court tv i've seen like even last year i saw abc news here i mean you've got press from all all over the country i mean any national outlet you can think of you can almost assure 
that they might have somebody here. We'll look forward to your reports, Adam, uh, here on the In-Depth of 15 and 45. All right, time again to see how the drive is shaping up. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Did they clear that spot on Bangator, Andy? No, the crash is still there, um, but you can't make the left turn from northbound Bangator on to 4700 south. So you still got delays coming down the hill as people figure out they can't make the turn and are going to have to continue north. There's also a lot of delay approaching Bangator on both 41 and 4700 south at the moment. Uh, I-15, we've got something going on at 45th south because traffic's backed all the way to 215. And we still have the crash on Mountain View just after 4100 south. It's backing traffic up the hill in West Valley. Heather? We've got our typical delays, southbound 15 from Ogden to Roy due to construction, and then more slowdowns from the I-215 North Interchange in North Salt Lake into downtown. That's just typical rush hour congestion. You're also going to see a lot of slowdowns on 5600 South in Roy. That's all heading east toward I-15, as well as on Harrison Boulevard near Weber State University. Eric? Getting plugged up on 2100 North, actually, for both eastbound and westbounders from uh, 2300 West over to the freeway we always get on the eastbound side of this time of the morning. And Mountain View Corridor approaching Redwood Road where it turns into 2100 North. That's also a pretty slow. I-15, though, moving along just fine. You still got a crash being cleared a westbound uh, through Provo Canyon. This is at Canyon View about a couple miles before, if you're westbound, before you get to the mouth of the canyon. Don't miss the Bedrock Quartz bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including counter top sinks and more visit bedrockcourts.com eric butler in the ksl traffic center seven day forecast brought to you by performance automotive bountiful beautiful morning matt oh yes hey and sign of things to come 62 today sunny skies easy forecast tomorrow 71 borderline room temperature out there sunny skies high pressure uh, moves right in here friday 78 three degrees from a record high it'll be warm 75 on saturday could it be better i think not partly cloudy 69 on sunday uh clouds move in with some cooler weather monday tuesday next week but even so 60 for a high tuesday is actually the normal high this time of year yeah mm. so no complaints at all but uh that, that temperature of almost 80 on friday's nuts uh, right now, 46 degrees in Salt Lake City. You want to know how to take your business to the next level? And I mean, whether you're a little eBay business in your garage or you've got hundreds of employees. I, I don't know how to do it. But Les Olson IT knows how to do it. They know how to help you take your business to the next level. And you know, as intimidating as uh, technology has been, just the Internet and Internet security and all of that, I can't imagine what's going through the mind of IT managers right now oh, yeah. at various companies of all sizes with AI now looming. Right. You can enlist some experts and then not have to enlist a whole office of bodies in your place. It's going to save you money with Les Olson IT. I mean, Les Olson IT can even be your help desk if you don't have a help desk. They can help to take a look at your system and say, okay, is your, is your data secure? Do we need to back this up? How's your hardware looking? What about expanding your network? They can look at all of that and figure out what's best for you to take the next step. And yes, if you're wondering, they still have your copiers and printers, <laughs> which is what we've known them for all these years. Find out more about Les Olson IT. They've got nine locations from Logan to Las Vegas. Go to lesolson.com. Any Hour Services free furnace sale is going on right now. If you haven't scheduled your free estimate yet, do it now. Call Any Hour Services today or schedule online at anyhourservices.com. Are you ready to start your journey as a small business owner? Ready to start something bold? Something groundbreaking? Utah is the startup capital of the world, and we're setting a new global standard for innovation and entrepreneurship. So if you're thinking about starting a new business or looking to grow an existing business, this is where you'll find the resources to make it happen. Visit startup.utah.gov today and start something here. It's going to be here before you know it. Here comes the summer, like a wave of change. Soda Weight Loss wants to help you look amazing in your swimsuit and shorts, but you got to get started right now at SodaWeightLoss.com. No time? Try Soda's at-home program with all the support you need online. I didn't realize how unhealthy I was. 
When you start losing the weight, even that first five pounds, this enormous amount of confidence starts to build in you. You start to realize like, oh, this is possible for me. That's Lauren, and she let go of 35 pounds with soda. With their help, I let go of 70 pounds in five months. That's because soda works. Soda works. It's why they have more than 8,700 Google reviews and countless before and after pictures and videos of people loving their results. Get started now at sodaweightloss.com. That's S-O-T-A weightloss.com. Sodas, say it with me. Say of the R. Dave and Eugenific. The IOC is doing a walkthrough of our Olympic venues. It's kind of like buying a home. The pictures are great, but you have to see it in person. We'll have an expert that's actually used these venues and what has changed in the 20 years since we've hosted the Olympics. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Just time to take a look at the markets here, and they have not been doing well since those consumer price index numbers came out this morning. The Dow briefly down over 500. It's now down 479. The S&P is off 53 or one full percent. The Nasdaq also down a full percent, off 161. We've got I-15 problems in Murray and Bangor Highway through Taylorsville. We've still got some issues. We'll check it next on KSL. Wireless headphones. That'll be $200. I'll use my Capital One Quicksilver card. Now that's a hit. You used the Capital One Quicksilver card, which makes you the hero of every purchase. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. I wanted running music, but unlimited 1.5% cash back is pretty heroic. Good instincts. Every hero needs a theme song. The Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. The best kept secret is this is the pass. It's a pass for fun for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass level. 362 days of fun. Visit thisisthepass.com. Hey, have you saved more than $200,000 in an IRA or 401k? You may not realize it now, but you've got a big problem on your hands. And that problem is taxes. Because if you don't take advantage of some tax planning strategies now, Uncle Sam could take a big chunk of your hard-earned retirement savings. Learn how you could reduce the taxes on your IRA and 401k with a free retirement tax savings analysis. It's from Boss Retirement Solutions. If you've saved more than $200,000, schedule your free tax strategy session now by calling 801-896-9622. Discover the tax planning strategies that could dramatically reduce your taxes in retirement. Call 801 896 9622. That's 801 896 9622. Advisory services offered through Boss Retirement Advisors, an SEC registered investment advisory firm. Insurance products and services offered through Boss Retirement Solutions. 759 Traffic and Weather Together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, the big delays have all been uh, around the same area on the west side. We've got uh, the crash looks like it's in the cleanup stages finally at 4700 South in Bangor. There's still delays coming down the hill. The crash on 4100 South as you go down the hill towards 35th uh, on Mountain View, though, that one's backing through the 4100 intersection. I-15 slowdowns have kind of broken up. Now you've got the typical delay between 7200 and 5300 South, but some additional delay at 45th South we don't normally see. Heather? The delays are getting worse. Southbound I-15 coming out of Ogden. You'll hit the brakes right at 24th Street now, and they continue all the way into Roy, where we have one right lane blocked. That's construction that happens every day. As you continue southbound, you'll see more delays from Beck Street all the way into downtown Salt Lake. But Legacy Parkway is still at speed. Eric. Normal travel times on I-15 Utah County is uh, seeing it get pretty busy right now trying to get over to the freeway from Redwood Road. This is just north of Utah Lake, both on Pioneer Crossing and 2100 North. 
SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Look at that sunshine. Get used to it. It's going to be around for the next four days. A high today of 62, 71 coming tomorrow, and it's 46 now in Salt Lake City. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 8 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Opening arguments take place this morning in about a half an hour if everything's on schedule there in Idaho in the murder trial against Chad Daybell. If convicted, jurors will be considering the death penalty. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our coverage. Peter? Yeah, Amanda, the possibility of the death penalty could extend this trial weeks longer than Lori Vallow Daybell's was. I think when you think of a criminal case as being beyond a reasonable doubt, it's uh, well beyond a reasonable doubt when a jury is considering the, the punishment of death. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says if the jury convicts Daybell and gives them the death sentence. The appeals in this case could very well go for a decade or longer because it's got to work its way through not only the state but the federal system. Daybell is facing charges that he murdered his first wife, Tammy Daybell, as well as Lori Vallow Daybell's children, Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is actually live right now in Boise and continues our live team coverage. Adam? Well, Peter, I am seeing jury members that have made their way into the courtroom, a long line of people trying to make their way in, hoping to get a seat somewhere to get a view at this. Just for context, for listeners who aren't super familiar with this case, it's been almost four years since J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan's bodies were found on Chad Daybell's property in eastern Idaho. And now here we are today. We're expected to finally see this trial kick off. There's a huge buzz here in town. People filing in now just trying to get a seat here, uh, myself included. But we will keep you covered on this all day long as we see these opening statements progress, uh, hopefully starting here in the or so. You can follow all the coverage here uh, on my social media as well as we will be streaming this trial uh, completely from beginning to end on our YouTube channel. Just head to KSL News on YouTube to watch this trial beginning to end. Live in Boise, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. In other news this morning, human remains found in remote Box Elder County are presumed to belong to a young man who's been missing since 2022. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with the latest. Michael? Tim, 19 year old Dylan Rounds was reported missing in May of that year after a strange run in with 60 year old James Brenner, who was later charged with aggravated murder. Rounds' presumed remains were discovered near the ghost town of Lucen. He was working on a farm in the western part of Box Elder County at the time of his disappearance, but the state medical examiner is working to confirm whether these remains belong to him. In the meantime, the sheriff's office give their deepest sympathies to Rounds' family. Reporting live, Michael Kimmitt, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories now. More fallout this morning after Arizona's Supreme Court upheld an almost complete ban on abortion. The ruling hinges on a law passed in 1864. The law is set to take effect in two weeks, and Arizona's Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs is urging voters to have the final say at the ballot box this fall. This November, Arizonans may have an opportunity to make their voices heard on this important issue. The law does have an exception if the mother's life is in danger. Political analyst Mike O'Neill at our sister station KTAR says the court ruling is a rallying cry for groups uh, trying to make abortion a state constitutional right. Proponents of the initiative can now hold out the prospects of total prohibition of abortion as the alternative to their proposal. The proposed amendment would guarantee women could get an abortion in Arizona until about 24 weeks of pregnancy. It would also allow for abortions in cases where the mother's life is at risk. Free health screenings will soon be offered at schools in the Provo City School District. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has the story. The Norda College of Osteopathic Medicine is partnering with financial donors like the Provo Open to give student doctors a chance to practice and offer free health screenings to elementary kids in the Provo School District. Provo Mayor Michelle Kafusi, who the program is named after, says the screenings will be invaluable for low-income families who may not have access to quality health care. The program will be rolled out in phases. Its first health screening phase will be on May 1st at Timpanogos Elementary School. Andy's back now with your first look traffic. And we've had a lot of slowdowns this morning. And right now on I-15, you're going to hit the brakes in Bluffdale. You're going to hit again in Midvale up to Murray. 
We've got uh, southbound backups from Ogden to Riverdale. We've got backups on Bangor Highway through Taylorsville from an earlier crash and on Mountain View through West Valley because of a crash. And even some I-80 delays now up by Lake Point. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. This morning we're learning about a middle sc- uh, school student in Lehigh who may have helped prevent a school shooting back in November. We now know a school resource officer got a tip from the student that a classmate had a gun. Corporal Jack Smith tells KSL TV he did find a handgun in the suspected student's backpack. I found, you know, the word kill written on a few things in his binders and papers. There was writings from him that were concerning and suicidal and violent. The student admitted he did have suicidal thoughts. His classmate who reported him is being credited with saving his life. The student is getting treatment. New rules are coming for the WIC program. The federal program helping to pay for groceries for millions of low-income mothers, babies, and young kids will soon emphasize more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. The final rule changes for the program known as WIC were announced Tuesday by the Food and Nutrition Service and will take effect within two years, with some exceptions. Under new rules, fruits and vegetable vouchers in 2024 will provide $26 a month for kids ages 1 through 4, $47 a month for pregnant and postpartum women, and $52 for breastfeeding women. I'm Julie Walker. Kids love Lunchables, but Consumer Reports says anything similar to that cheese, meat, and snack cracker kit should never be on a school lunch menu. The group's report says the version often showing up in schools has even more sodium than the version sold in grocery stores. The report also found small levels of lead and cadmium in many different versions of Lunchables, but nothing above the legal limit. Evermore Park in Utah County has closed its doors, but property owner Brandon Fugel says the park won't be closed for long. The real estate where Evermore Park was located is being repositioned to unveil a new attraction and project that is going to be announced. Fugel says the group that ran the fantasy and medieval theme park had struggled for the past several years in the pandemic made the problem even worse. We have reduced speeds northbound I-15 from 90th south to 45th south. We'll check it next on KSL. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. It already feels like home. It's complicated. These days, that's how people even describe their relationship status. When it comes to the latest complexities in your car, it's gotten really complicated. The experts at Amco undergo the most rigorous training to stay on top of the latest car technologies, so there's nothing we can't fix. Well, except for that complicated relationship. When it comes to that, you're on your own. Double A, MCO. Check engine light on, we'll check it for free. Put the equity in your home to work with a home equity line of credit and get 6.49% APR for the first six months. Learn more at cypresscu.com. Utah, it's Toy Hauler Month at all three Paris RV locations. We've gathered three of our top-selling toy haulers and are blowing them out to you this month for the same price you choose. Get the 2024 XLR Boost, the Open Range 25TH, or the Cherokee 24 RRT. Your, Your choice. choice. 29 995 or 304 per month. That's right. A toy hauler for only 29 995 Go to ParisRV.com. It's Toy Hauler Madness at Paris RV. Paris RV is your locally owned, family run RV dealership. We strive hard to find the very best RVs for the price. With four locations, over 1,000 RVs in stock, 42 service bays, and four super parts stores. We're sure to help take your family on the best RV vacation. Check out our perfect family bunkhouse trailer, the 26BH that sleeps nine for nineteen thousand nine ninety five or two twenty seven a month. Zero, Zero down. down. Life is short. Enjoy it. North Murray, South Murray, Payson, and Pocatello. ParisRV.com. 
We're watching uh, some of the uh, pomp and circumstances going on outside of the White House. Am I the only one that kind of likes this stuff? Oh, I know. I love it. The old diplomacy yeah. uh, that we have known forever. But uh, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is there at the White House. So uh, there's a, a uh, I guess that's the Army Band. Maybe it's the Marine Band. And uh, you see the president walking with the prime minister. We're told they will have a joint press conference coming up uh, soon. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. It's 8.09. Time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Sponsored by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here's Andy. And we still got delays on I-15, Bluffdale to Bangor, and then again from Midvale into Murray. We've got traffic slow along I-80 coming out of Lake Point now. As soon as you merge on, it's slow for a couple of blocks, maybe a half mile. And then SR-201 slowdowns begin again if you're taking that uh, from uh, the Mountain View Corridor on-ramp all the way to Bangor. Still have a crash on Mountain View just north of 4100 South, causing delays through West Valley. Heather? Got some unusual delays on SR-193. This is heading westbound away from Fort Lane to Hill. Field Road that's right in front of the south gate of Hill Air Force Base. Haven't heard of a crash in that area, but something has happened. Maybe the traffic lights are not cycling correctly. You also have some pretty big delays on 5600 South and Roy. That is typical. That's uh, from 3500 West all the way over toward 1900 West. And southbound I-15 has the typical delays in Ogden, Roy, and down into Salt Lake City. Eric. No real problems uh, on the freeways in Utah County. I-15 is running along at a normal pace. We do have a little bit of brake tapping going on in Linden, but from Provo to Point of the Mountain, that's still a 20-minute drive. Uh, if you're heading out towards the freeway from Redwood Road, expect usual slowdowns on Pioneer Crossing and 2100 North. And if you're northbound on Redwood Road, uh, you've got uh, some slowdowns approaching the Port of Rockwell intersection, uh, but heading on into Bluffdale and Riverton, uh, no major delays there. Discover the power of hands-on learning at Tooele Technical College. With affordable, flexible, and achievable technical education, your future begins here. Apply today at tooeletech.edu. That's tooeletech.edu. Eric Butler, the KSL Traffic Center. Dialing up some crystal clear skies and a high of 62 by this afternoon. 43 overnight. We'll go to 71 tomorrow with high pressure moving into the region. How about Friday? Topping out at 78 with mostly sunny skies. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. All that sunshine starting to warm things up now. 48 in Salt Lake City. Coming up in just a moment, Debbie Dujanovic will join us and we'll be talking more about that crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam that has people nervous. I mean, they're actually thinking about whether do we have to evacuate people. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get more on that with Debbie just ahead. Stay with us, streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. So, Tim, I just went to sternteam.com. Yeah. Sternteam.com. And I typed in my address because I wanted to, I've done this before, but I wanted to see. Wait, is it the same that it was last time? I think it was, what, a year ago when I typed mm -hmm. it in? It's gone up $25,000. Holy cow. How is that possible? But that's how quick you can get an answer to these questions, oh, isn't it? I, I got an answer in less than 30 seconds. Yeah. I just told it, you know, they said, is it is it this many bedrooms? Yes. You know, is it in pretty good condition? Yes. And they gave me a price. You want to know what your home's worth? Just go to sternteam.com. Yeah, this home value estimator is really a, a game changer for sellers. So you don't have to guess at it. You can get some real insights from a team of uh, experts that can help you with so many things. They told us when we had lunch with them a while ago that uh, there are over a hundred different things to consider in selling a home, and I could name maybe two or three. Yeah, and everybody has their own specific situation. Like, you know, this one couple that we, we learned about that they got a trailer and they got four wheelers and they didn't have any place to park them. So they called the Stern team and they said, look, we need a home that has a place to park our toys. And they found them precisely that. Yeah, and don't just take our word for it. They have over 1,100 five-star reviews. There's a good reason why. Go to SternTeam.com. Or just Google the Stern team. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat, watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, 
rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us You know that feeling? Your air conditioner starts making a weird noise, but you don't know if that's a typical weird noise or potentially expensive weird noise. And you just want somebody smart to come and look at it and maybe get things back to when you had perfectly good air conditioning without a stupid weird noise. Whipple that away. Making weird sounding air conditioners quiet again is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. Look for our special offers at whippledataway.com. Ready to wake up in a new destination nearly every day with Norwegian Cruise Line? Book today with free second guests to Alaska, Europe, and beyond. Plus, everyone can enjoy their vacation with free unlimited open bar, free specialty dining, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer ends soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Ships Registry, the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. The rest of my life gonna start today. KSL News Time, 815. The three things you need to know this hour. First, opening arguments begin today in the trial of Chad Daybell. And the possibility of the death penalty means this case could go on for months. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, free health screenings will soon be offered at schools in the Provo City School District. Third, it's traffic and weather together. I got a crash uh, on uh, Mountain View Corridor 4100 South, still causing delays in West Valley. You've got I 15 slowdowns from Midvale all the way into Murray. And uh, uh, backups along the backups we had at I-80 suddenly cleared out in Lake Point. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll jump another 5 to 7 degrees today with a high of 62. I'm Matt Johnson. 48 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. This just in, longtime executive in Donald Trump's real estate empire, Alan Weiselberg, has been sentenced to five months behind bars for lying under oath during the Trump civil fraud trial. He pleaded guilty last month to two counts of perjury. If you were hoping for a drop in mortgage rates or a break on your credit card APR, it appears you're going to have to wait a little longer. The Consumer Price Index, a measure of what Americans are paying for consumer goods and services, ticked up 0.4% in March, raising the 12-month inflation rate to 3.5%. That's higher than analysts had expected and an indication that inflation is still an issue for the U.S. economy, despite the Fed's steady increase of interest rates. Housing and energy costs helped drive the CPI higher, while food prices were only slightly more expensive. One area where consumer price Prices dipped. The cost of used cars declined 1.1 percent. Derek Dennis, ABC News. There's a closed-door briefing for House members today on the benefits of expiring section of the FISA law that grants government the power to conduct surveillance overseas. President Biden wants FISA reauthorized. Donald Trump wants it killed. Here's ABC Stephen Portnoy. Despite a stark warning from the White House that it could cause extensive harm, there's bipartisan support for a measure requiring warrants before FBI agents search for Americans in a vast trove of intelligence community data. The debate is coming to a head ahead of next week's expiration of FISA Section 702. Backers call the law critical, necessary to monitor bad actors all over the world. But critics say abuses have trampled on Americans' rights. Stephen Portnoy, ABC News, Washington. Abortion providers in Arizona will have 14 days to get in line with a near total ban on abortion, or they could be facing jail time. The state Supreme Court upholding a 160-year-old Civil War era law that would ban the procedure in every instance except to save the life of the mother. If you're just joining us this morning, one of the stories we obviously are going to keep a close eye on, and Deb, I know you guys yeah. will too, is this uh, Panguitch Lake Dam situation. And you know, you know, it went from a kind of like we're watching it to I think it just felt like it really escalated yesterday at, at about six o'clock in the evening when the sheriff's office put out this level two alert to the residents of the area. Now, keep in mind that Panguitch is really pretty close to Bryce. Uh, um, Canyon area and also Z Zion National Park. Just hung up the phone a few minutes ago with Wade Matthews with the Division of Emergency Management. He's heading to the area. Uh, it sounds like that uh, the county sheriff in that area has, has requested state assistance in the form of at least a public information officer to get information out to the public. Uh, Newsweek is reporting that this crack in the dam at Panguitch Lake is a 60-foot-long crack. So that 
to me puts it in a, a much different perspective than what I was thinking um, before I read that headline. Um, the town has been, um, they're not being evacuated, I want to make that clear, but they've been basically put on alert to stay aware and uh, look for reverse 911 calls, um, as well as, you know, keeping an eye on social media, as the county sheriff has been really pretty good about putting out uh, new information. We know this dam is old. It's about a, almost, what, 140, 150 years old, and that there's been a few additions made to the dam. And it appears what's happening is that based on the age and with ice freezing, contracting, and expanding, it has created this crack. What they're trying to do right now is alleviate the pressure on the dam by draining some water out of the lake. This lake is big. It's a it's a really big lake. It's been basically turned into a reservoir in that area. And uh, looking at the data there, it looks like about 1,800 people live in Panguitch. Don't know if that accounts for the entire population there. But they've if they have to evacuate, they've been told to head east very specifically head east. Mm -hmm. So certainly some um, nerves down there, and we are on high alert here in the newsroom keeping an eye on what happens today um, to that dam. We are also reaching out to residents to see who can join us live during the show today. All right, we'll look forward to the coverage coming up starting at the top of the hour. This portion of Utah's Morning News is brought to you by Revere Health. Let's get a look at traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, right now traveled on I-15, still really slow going up through Midvale to Murray because of a crash near 45th South. The highway patrol ran a slowdown on all lanes to move the vehicles from one side of the freeway to the other. Uh, they have released the traffic, but it's still pretty backed up, Midvale to Murray. Looking better over on Mountain View. Uh, the delays, uh, the crash is still there just after 4100 South, but the delays only extend back a couple of blocks after, for a while, they were reaching back over a mile. Heather? We do have lane restrictions in Layton. This is on SR 193. It's heading westbound. You're going to have delays from Fort Lane all the way over to Hillfield Road where the left lane is blocked. Only one right lane getting through the intersection right at the south gate of Hill Air Force Base. Uh, but hopefully that will uh, open later in the commute and you won't see those delays. Right now you still have pretty slow traffic southbound I-15 from 24th Street in Ogden all the way down to 5600 south in Roy. Eric. If you're on the 215 East Belt, no problems heading north up past Mount Olympus up to the mouth of Parley's Canyon. If you continue northbound on Foothill Drive, expect usual slowdowns from Parley's Way up to about 1300 south, and then it gets better the closer you get to the university. I-80 through the mountains uh, looks good right now down Utah County. Uh, we do still have a touch of northbound slowing going from 1600 north in Orem up to the Pleasant Grove Boulevard exit. Did you know simple maintenance rejuvenates your asphalt roof for 30 to 50% longer? Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at masterroofingutah.com to schedule your free assessment today. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast looking pretty good if I say so myself. 62 today, sunny skies, up to 71 tomorrow, sunny. Mostly sunny on Friday, couple of clouds scooting in here but a mild high of 78. We dial it back to 75, mostly sunny on Saturday. Sunday, 69, partly cloudy. A little California storm tries to move on in here on Monday, 63, still just mostly cloudy. We drop to 60 on Tuesday with more clouds. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Let's see if we warmed up from the last time we uh, took a peek. Nope, still 48 degrees now in Salt Lake City. And the seven-day forecast is brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Look at that day out there, Tim Hughes. It's going to stay that way, too. That's what's great. That is a beautiful day. Hope you enjoy it, everybody. We'll check your money news. Oh, I'm sorry. I might, I might send you on a drag. <laughs> Maybe we change our mind. <laughs> we'll do that next on KSL. Hot Tub Factory Outlet and Backyards of America is offering an incredible deal. We'll pay the sales tax on every hot tub, swim spa, infrared sauna, and cold plunge sold. Now through April 15th, say goodbye to pesky extra charges and hello to unbeatable savings. We're your local hotspot for hot tubs, swim spas, infrared saunas, and cold plunge. We're not just any store. We're two local guys dedicated to bringing you the best prices and selection around. Step into our showroom and be amazed. We have hot tubs, swim spas, and saunas in every size, color, and model imaginable. From cozy two-seaters to luxurious party-sized tubs and the largest showroom of swim spas. When you buy local, you're not 
not just getting a great deal, you're getting top-notch service, too. With our in-house service technician, help is just a phone call away. Because we believe in making your hot tub and swim spa experience as magical as possible. Hot Tub Factory Outlet, conveniently located next to Calabunga Bay and Backyards of America in Sandy. A partner is someone you can rely on. Someone who has your best interest in mind. A partner is there for you during the good and the bad. They listen, understand, and care. Revere Health is dedicated to providing care for your generation and the next. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner for life. Can we talk about something difficult to discuss? Are you going through a difficult financial time? You have equity in your home, but nobody can help. I'm Jason Erskine with American Home Loans, and we have created the Bridge Loan Program to use your equity regardless of your credit at this time. The Bridge Loan can be used to pay debts, collections, IRS liens, divorce settlement, or just simply improve your property. Give us a call at 801-262-2221. This loan creates a bridge between now and a much brighter future. During COVID, one of our clients had over $85,000 on credit cards. Their scores were too low to borrow on their home. We were able to save them $2,000 a month, and after eight months, they qualified for a conventional loan and improved their situation. Look, the consultation is free. Please let us see what we can do for you. Call 801-262-2221. That's 801-262-2221, or go to AmericanHomeLoans.com. That's AmericanHomeLoans.com. NMLS 245422, Equal Housing Lender. The IOC is doing a walkthrough of our Olympic venues. It's kind of like buying a home. The pictures are great, but you have to see it in person. We'll have an expert that's actually used these venues and what has changed in the 20 years since we've hosted the Olympics. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Utah Valley University broke ground on their $20 million soccer stadium. That is so exciting for them. The money to build it came from a donation from Utah Community Credit Union, and it should be ready to play by the 2025 season. It's evidently not just a Costco craze. Everyone is suddenly buying gold. The price of gold is up 16.5% year over year. Of course, that's what makes that price go up, <laughs> uh, reaching $2,300.64 an ounce. Okay, don't freak out, everybody, but the markets are down this morning. The Dow is off 375. That's one full percent. We're at 38,497. The S&P is off 44. The Nasdaq down 151. And as bad as that might sound to you, it's actually better than it was a little while earlier. For northbound drivers in Salt Lake County, some slowdowns to one degree or another from Bluffdale to South Salt Lake. We'll see if we can find out why when we check it all next. We were talking about home ownership this morning. When you own a home or a building of any kind, I suppose. You need to know people who can help you take care of the major pieces of equipment in this home. The water heater, the furnace, the air conditioner, the water softer, all that stuff. And you need someone that you can trust to have a relationship with through the years of your owning the property. That's Superior Water and Air. And that relationship is going to make it easier uh, when you pick up the phone and call Superior Water and Air. That's who we're talking about here. Uh, make it easier for them to help diagnose what the situation is. They know what they installed the last time they were out there. They know how long that water heater has been in place yeah. and that it's time for it to be looked at again. It, that relationship is so important, and the maintenance that can be done along the way is going to save you a lot of those catastrophes. Oh, absolutely. And, and they're always looking for ways to save me money and to help my family. You know, they've, we installed a hospital-grade air filter because I have a son with asthma. We, you know, they're, they're looking for a way to save me money on my water heater. So I got a tankless water heater so I don't have to spend all that energy heating water that nobody's using. Yeah, and right now it would be a good idea as you look outside and look at those temperatures that are coming to get your air conditioner have uh, a once-over done. Here's the number, 801-974-9090 or go to superiorwaterandair.com. Want to know what is grinding things to a halt in Congress? We have to face reality right now. You should have been listening to Inside Sources and Boyd Matheson's interview with Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson. We literally are operating right now with the smallest majority in the history of the Congress. When it came to funding the government, we either get the best possible product we can or we just shut the government down. For firsthand information from Inside Sources, listen each day. Boyd Matheson from 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. This week's movie show brought to you by Sound Sleep Medical. Get a free sleep screening and a free sleep consultation by tuning in on Friday morning. Sound Sleep Medical with seven locations in Utah. 
Time again for traffic and weather together here on the Nines. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Where are you going to start, Andy? Well, we got lots of different problems. Slowdowns I-15 from Midvale to Murray. That's from an earlier crash. It looks like it's been moved out of the way finally. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for the delay to clear out. Possible crash on the 201 freeway near the 215 West Belt Interchange. There is some slowing going underneath 215 and over towards Redwood Road. And over on Mountain View, a crash just north of 4100 South has been a problem for the last a uh, half hour or so, there's still extra delay going through that intersection to get by the crash. Heather? Lane restrictions in Layton is keeping SR 193 at a crawl right now. That is westbound between Fort Lane and Hillfield Road, right at the south gate of Hill Air Force Base. Only one right lane getting through there due to construction. And then southbound I-15, you still have a bit of slow and stop and go traffic between 31st Street and Ogden, down to the Riverdale Road exit, and 5600 South and Roy, also overly congested trying to get to I-15. Eric. We've got some usual spots of slowing. Uh, US 89 in Mapleton uh, as you head from 1600 south up to Maple Street and over in uh, Springfield on uh, 400 south uh, heading over to the freeway westbound. Uh, with the uh, more uh, congested spots are in the north part of the county as usual as well. Uh, 2100 north and Pioneer Crossing eastbound from Redwood Road over to the freeway. At least on I-15, the one uh, spot of slowdowns that we did have through Linden, that has cleared up. When you choose Performance Automotive and Bound you're choosing exceptional service from four dealers. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota, and Truck Country. See PerformanceBountiful.com. I'm Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful day in store, a high of 62 degrees. Right now it's 48 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon. On KSL News Radio. 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 830. KSL's top story this hour. It is a breaking story we're following this morning. Some people in Garfield County are on standby to evacuate because of growing concerns about a crack in the Panguitch Lake Dam. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson begins our team coverage. A significant break in that dam could send half of the lake into the town. Sergeant Tom Talbot tells KSL 5 crews are watching closely. There's an upper portion of the dam that has sustained some damage from the ice. Deputies say damage to that dam is not yet severe enough to warrant immediate evacuations, but residents are urged to check those emergency kits just in case. They've also closed access to the lake as well as a portion of SR 143. Meanwhile, the city is working to lower lake levels as the level two emergency continues. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Dam failures have happened in Utah before. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit continues our team coverage. There was a series of dam failures before the year 2000, notably the Little Deer Creek failure in 1963 and the DMAD, Trial Lake, and Quail Creek dam failures back in the 80s. Foundational problems were a common factor in some of those breaks. Now, more recently, the lob detention dam failure in 2012 led to homes, businesses, and roads being damaged in Washington County. It also received a presidential disaster declaration. That dam, though, was ultimately rebuilt. Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. The International Olympic Committee has landed in Utah and is about to kick off a venue tour. A special tracks train wrapped in the words, ready to move the world again, will carry committee members from the 2002 Olympic Cauldron at Rice Eccles Stadium to the Delta Center today. Utah Games CEO Fraser Bullock and Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendehall are going to unveil a transit plan for 2034, running from Provo to Snow Basin. According to a news release from the Salt Lake City, Utah Olympic Games Committee. Through the week, committee members will be touring legacy Olympic sites from the Kearns Olympic Oval to Soldier Hollow. The tour wraps up Saturday. Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Several buildings in downtown Salt Lake City overnight and even this morning were lit up with a golden hue. That golden glow is part of our efforts to persuade members of the International Olympic Committee were ready and able to host the 2034 Games. Salt Lake Chamber President and CEO Derek Miller says our first Olympic Games were a huge success. It wasn't just hosting a wonderful game, but it was the only game up to that point that actually made money for the community, which allowed us to create an endowment fund that continues to this day. He says that fund has allowed us to maintain our venues with the hope we would one day be able to host another Winter Games. If you missed last night, Miller says those buildings will be lit at night all week. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. More news involving the Olympics this morning. Track and field is set to become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Olympics. Track and field gold medalists will get $50,000 across 48 events. And by the way, we uh, learned this week, and I guess we've known this for a while, that uh, the official announcement for 2034 will be made on 
July 24th. Pioneer Day. Is that so cool? Which is just a couple of days before uh, the opening ceremonies for Paris's game. Yeah. So I guess we'll be here on the 24th. I think so. KSL's top national stories is our new inflation report was released this morning, and consumer prices were 3.5% higher in March than they were a year ago. The cost of gas, rent, and car insurance saw some of the biggest increases. Where you are catching a break, airfare, hotels, and used cars. And while prices are no longer climbing at the rate they were a year ago, families are spending about $200 more a month than they were a year ago. And you still have to spend about $1,000 more a month versus three years ago. And that's where you really feel the sticker shock, even with incomes rising over that period. Markets for a time were down over 500, at least the Dow was. It's still down, but 342 points. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis says the report will likely influence the Fed's uh, as it weighs when and by how much to cut interest rates this year. First look traffic now. Here's Andy Farnsworth. Traffic on I-15 right now uh, still struggling in Sandy to Midvale. The slowing actually begins closer to 90th South at this point, although at the front end where the crash happened at 45th South earlier, that appears to be cleared. We still have Bangor backs up in South Jordan and in West Valley. Uh, and then uh, South 15 still pretty heavy between Ogden and Riverdale. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A large stash of fentanyl pills was discovered during a uh, traffic stop in Utah County. KSL TV's Andrew Adams reports. Detective Zach Robinson says a search of the car turned into a jackpot of fentanyl pills. 5,500 fentanyl pills approximately and 30 grams of methamphetamine. In addition to the drugs, investigators seized weapons, including these taken from the home of the driver, Larry Glenn Jones. Detectives say the suspect drove to Phoenix the day before, only to return immediately. An expanded child tax credit quickly passed in the House, but it's facing a very different situation in the Senate. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. The bill would increase the $78 billion Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act, multiplying the child tax credit on a per child basis and adjusting the credit amount for inflation. But the revisions by the House aren't boding well with the senators who helped pioneer it. One of the changes stalling it is the allowance of unemployed parents to cash in on the credit. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo said it changes it from a working family tax relief into a government subsidy. Utah Senator Mitt Romney agrees. He said it really just doesn't make sense anymore, and it would be just another entitlement program. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. West Bountiful Police have issued a silver alert for K Prince Vest, and they think the 80-year-old might have been spotted last night near Downey, Idaho. Police received reports of a woman matching Vest's description along the side of the road, and she appeared confused. Anyone with information should contact the West Bountiful Police. Tack on some extra minutes to your drive time northbound from 90th south to 53rd on I-15. We'll check it next on KSL. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. You know, Deb, you and I have had this conversation so many times. We think, oh, I wish I had a little more light here or maybe a ceiling fan there. That's why we love Master Electrical. So anytime we have an electrical problem, we know we can call them and they will give us their upfront pricing guarantee. Because we're not going to do it yourself. We're going to leave it to the professionals. And this upfront pricing guarantee is fantastic. I'm sure you've been bitten by bids in the past where they say, oh, that's going to take half a day. And then two weeks later... The bid and the invoice have nothing to do with each other. Not only will you get their upfront pricing guarantee, but you will never see an upcharge. Their pricing system simply won't allow it. Master Electrical proudly serves from Logan to Santa Quin. They do everything that has to do with electrical, and they're always open, including for emergency services. The phone number to call is 801-543-2222. 801-543-2222 or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even 
even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Just a note for those of you down in uh, Garfield County, if you're listening this morning, we'll keep an eye on this uh, Panguitch Lake Dam situation. I do want you to know that deputies say the damage to the dam is not yet severe enough to warrant immediate evacuations, but they do want you to have emergency kits or whatever you Ready need to handy. Go. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll uh, be following that, and David and Janovic are going to be talking more about it after the top of the hour. 839 now. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back over to you, Andy. Well, Amanda, the big delay on I-15 right in the middle of the valley. If you're just getting on at 90 south, you'll be in slowdowns all the way up to 215 before you start to see some relief. HOV lane getting by pretty quickly. You'll also hit the brakes, though, for those of you just leaving Utah County right now at uh, the Bluffdale exit and a little bit near 106 South. South Jordan and Bangor uh, northbound is backed up, as well as the West Valley or Taylorsville stretch of Bangor coming up to 4700 South. And a crash on Mountain View Corridor just north of 4100 South has been a headache for drivers for the last half hour or so. Heather? The city streets in Weber and Davis County have most of the congestion right now, especially if you're on 5600 South in Roy heading east toward I-15, as well as on SR 193 in Layton. That's heading westbound, trying to get to the south gate of Hill Air Force Base. That's due to construction. Southbound I-15 still has a touch of slowing, leaving Ogden into Roy and then again approaching downtown Salt Lake. Eric. Hasn't been too bad getting into Park City this morning, not compared to many days. Uh, I-80 traffic through the mountains uh, looks good as well. Foothill Drive uh, is slow, though, uh, as you head north from the 215 East Belt up to about 1700 south. Then you got further slowing from Sunnyside up to Mario Capecchi. Down Utah County, the freeway looks clean right now. No problems northbound, southbound on I-15. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need service. For quality service you can trust, visit your Utah Big O Tires. The team you trust. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Spectacular spring weather is in store today. High of 62 with blue skies. Overnight, 43 clear skies. Tomorrow we'll go 71. We jump to 78 by Friday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Looks like all those clouds are gone and will be the rest of the day. 48 now in Salt Lake City. Our legal analyst Greg Scordis is in Boise for the first day of the trial against Chad Daybell. We will have a report from Greg Scordis just ahead on KSL News Radio. Stay with us, streaming live at KSLNewsRadio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. When it comes to your electrical system, do you know the warning signs to look for? What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and it's okay if you don't know, but here are a few things that you might not even realize could be a sign of a bigger problem. Wall plates that are hot to the touch, discoloration around switches or outlets. If you hear crackling or popping or buzzing around switches or outlets, a breaker that trips a lot, switches that feel loose when you operate them, if your lights dim or flicker when a major appliance comes on, if your plugs fall out of the wall easily. You know, you're not supposed to have to bend the prongs out on a plug just to get it to stay in the wall. If you notice any of these things, you should consider having a licensed electrician check your system out. If you don't know anyone, Any Hour Services has put together a radio-only special for any homeowners listening. One of our licensed electricians will perform a comprehensive electrical inspection and give you a full written report for only $29. But you have to mention this ad when you call. To schedule your comprehensive electrical inspection by a licensed electrician for only $29, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7300. That's 801-443-7300. Any Hour Services. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. For you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. 
Finally. With wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi. Only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, that's 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. KSL News Time, 845. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Garfield County Sheriff's deputies are warning residents near Panguitch Lake of possible flooding if a crack in the ice-covered top portion of that dam causes it to break. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson. Second, the International Olympic Committee is here in town to tour Utah's Olympic venues over the next several days. Third, a look at traffic and weather together. I-15 delays still coming over Point of the Mountain and then a stretch from 90th to 53rd South. Southbound, our delays have finally cleared from the freeway, but there's still quite a bit of slowing along 5600 South in Roy and along 1800 North in Sunset. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The warming trend continues today with 70s expected tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, 48 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. Inflation isn't budging. Consumer prices 3.5% higher than they were a year ago. That number higher than expected. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has more on what things are costing all of us more these days. Food prices didn't go up by as much last month, but they are still high. Housing prices continue to go up. Rent was one of the big reasons why prices were significantly higher or higher than expected in this report. Same thing goes with gas prices. We've been seeing those ticking up over the past month. Wall Street worried about future interest rates, hikes or lack of them. Dow down this hour, 383 points. Longtime Trump Organization Chief Financial Officer Alan Weisselberg has been sentenced to five months behind behind bars for perjury. He lied under oath during Donald Trump's civil fraud trial. Women in Arizona still trying to figure out how they will navigate the new normal for abortion in their state. The Supreme Court there upholding a 160-year-old law that says almost all abortions are illegal. This is ABC News. The trial of Chad Daybell. Special coverage on KSL News Radio. Opening statements in the trial of Chad Daybell could begin any time now. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordes is in Boise and joined us earlier in the show to go over what we can expect when those arguments begin. I imagine those uh, remarks will go about 45 to minutes to an hour and then the defense. And I think a lot of us are really anticipating, Amanda, the defense openings to see what, if anything, Chad's going to do. Because if you recall, Lori uh, didn't call any witnesses, didn't really present any defense except to just attack the state's case as being insufficient. And uh, looking back, that was not the best defense, and uh, she was obviously convicted. So I think Chad's got to put something on, and we'll hear what that's going to be uh, today. Greg, with all of your experience in court, uh, I'm curious how much emphasis you put as far as a jury's decision on opening arguments on either side. That's a great question, and I think scholars go back and forth. I've done a lot of jury trials, and, and some people will tell you that a lot of your jurors, or at least several of them, will will make up their minds right after opening remarks. They'll they'll come to an opinion at that point. So you can't understate them. You have to give one. Some people don't even don't even bother with opening statements, but you absolutely have to do that. You have to come out of the shoot strong. This jury wants to know what's going on with the case. They want to know what the evidence is going to be, and what they're going to be listening to for the next two months. So I would expect both of these statements today, Tim, to be very compelling, very very thorough, and a good uh, sort of snapshot of what their case is going to be. Do you have any sense as to what part, if any, his mental state or religious beliefs will come into play in his defense? You know, Amanda, I wouldn't think that he's going to get very far using any of that as a as an excuse or as a justification. I just don't. Lori had some mental health issues. She was even declared incompetent for some time where she couldn't even stand trial. Chad hasn't even alleged that. So I don't think mental state is going to be an issue here. I think he's probably going to blame uh, Lori a little bit, his, his wife and Alex Cox. 
uh, other and who is now deceased because it's easy to blame somebody who's not in the courtroom. So I think that's where his defense is going to lie. I mean, things always happen that we don't know about in the public. We don't know exactly what the prosecutor's case is. We don't know what the defense is going to argue, but we will. Yeah. And uh, just check in with Utah's new news and Jeff Kaplan's afternoon news. They'll give you an update on what those opening statements are like today. And stay with KSL over the next few weeks because we'll learn something every day and we'll share that with you. And we should also tell you up front, and we've had plenty of conversation behind the scenes about this within the newsroom, that we're going to be very sensitive to the nature of some of, of, the, some of that evidence. Uh, because, we don't have to share. You, know, no. the, you can always go seek that out if you want that. Yeah, uh, but we will have the best coverage coming up for you with our team on the ground. 849, time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Again, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. And he looks still slow in places out there, including Bangor Highway. Yeah, and that's going up through West uh, or Taylorsville into West Valley. We had a crash at 47 South earlier. A crash on Mountain View still affecting drivers in West Valley near 4100 South. I-15 slowdowns are now a good chunk of the way from Bluffdale, right after Point of the Mountain coming in Salt Lake County, up to as far as uh, 7200 south before you finally get back to the speed limit. Heather? Not too many problems on the freeways in Weber and Davis counties. Just a few brake lights from time to time southbound I-15. But you do have a lot of congestion on city streets in Roy, Clinton, Layton, also up in Ogden, especially on Harrison Boulevard. Eric? If you're over on Redwood Road in uh, Saratoga Springs and Lehigh, you've got slow movement on 2100 North, as you might expect, although this does seem to be lingering a little bit longer than usual. But it is slow from Redwood over to the freeway. Uh, not as bad if you're coming out of Saratoga Springs on Pioneer Crossing, but you do have some slowing uh, going past uh, Saratoga Road. And then uh, down in Provo, we've got northbound slowing on University Avenue as you approach 800 North. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale. Starting at just $39 a foot, visit BedrockQuartz.com. That's BedrockQuartz.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast is looking like an absolute beaut. 62 today, sunny skies, goes to a perfect 71 tomorrow, sunny skies. And we bump it up to 78 on the warm side Friday with mostly sunny skies. A couple of clouds lingering on Saturday, 75, a little bit cooler. Partly cloudy, 69 on Sunday. Monday, more clouds, 63. We drop it off to 60 degrees on Tuesday, mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, uh, sunny in Salt Lake City, 48 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. I just got a note from our legal analyst, Greg Scordis. He is in the courtroom now. He says the attorneys and judge are not yet in the courtroom, but for some reason they brought Chad in. He's sitting alone, stoic as a statue, looking straight ahead. He's wearing a shirt and tie. His hair is cut very short, like a military cut. He has not moved an inch in 15 minutes. Um, Greg says that JJ's grandfather, Larry Woodcock, is talking to people in the courtroom, but other than that, the courtroom is silent. He also said that the judge has started every proceeding late, including all of Lori. Mm. Lori's uh, proceedings. So there's no surprise that they're, what, about 20 minutes late so far in starting yeah. this one. But stay with KSL for more coverage. Let us share some more great news from our friends at Utah Community Credit Union. They are always looking for, and we often talk about this, Amanda, they're looking for ways that help you and your family, even your children, figure out your financial life and ways to make it easier. And in this case, we're talking about their credit score toolbox. Uh, what did I do before I started banking at UCCU? I didn't have access to any of this stuff. This toolbox is so awesome. It'll do things like like it can help you just know what your credit score is. Remember when you used to check your credit score and it would ding your credit score just for checking? <laughs> right. Well, now you can do that. There's no impact on your score at all. You used to have to pay to do that, yeah. too, I think. Uh, but along with keeping an eye on your credit score, you can also uh, do something about it. For instance, if you're looking at buying something and you want to know, yeah, but what, what does that do to my credit score? Because I know in two years we want to be able to buy a home. Mm -hmm. They have a simulator that's an interactive tool that enables you to see just how these various financial decisions will affect your credit score. There, there's even a dispute portal. So if you see something that you think is an error, you can dispute it right there. This uh, toolbox is really a game changer for everyone, and there's third uh, third tool in the uh, credit arsenal is credit monitoring. So do it today. Find out more. It's free if you're a UCCU Elevated Checking member or just uh, go to uccu.com. Utah Community Credit Union. Love where you bank. Advanced window products. $2,500 off 10 windows or more. Advancedwindows.com.
Affordable windows, guaranteed. Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors. And did you know that we get a bunch of service calls per year from people who didn't even hire us? That means they originally hired someone else to replace their siding, gutters, and windows. Then later, when a problem popped up, they tried to call their contractor back to fix it, only to find out that the contractor has ceased to exist. They're gone, done, out of business. At RGS Exteriors, we've been serving Utah for 70 years. As a fifth generation owned contractor, we've got customers who are the grandkids of our customers we had in the 1950s and 60s. We're not going anywhere. We will be here when you need us, period. For siding, gutters, and windows, now and forever, call RGS Exteriors at 801-280-3110 or visit at rgsexteriors.com. That's 801-280-3110 or rgsexteriors.com. The IOC is doing a walkthrough of our Olympic venues. It's kind of like buying a home. The pictures are great, but you have to see it in person. We'll have an expert that's actually used these venues and what has changed in the 20 years since we've hosted the Olympics. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money this morning is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. 4% of online global content creators make six figures a year. That's according to Goldman Sachs Research. YouTube, no surprise, considered by creators to be one of the more lucrative platforms and has more than 3 million channels earning money. It looks like it's going to cost a little more for stamps. The U.S. Postal Service wants to raise the price by five cents. It would be the fourth increase since the start of 2023 with the last raise in January of this year. You mentioned to me this morning you have a drawer full of forever stamps. I do, too, that yeah. I bought, like, I want to say three, four, five years ago. Which shows you how little we actually use snail mail right. these days, and it's one of the reasons why they have to keep increasing the cost. Right. They have postal workers out there, but nobody's putting things in the mailbox. Mm -hmm. A majority of the nation's largest school districts don't offer some kind of paid uh, maternal leave, according to the uh, or uh, maternity leave, according to the National Council of Teacher Quality. Those that do typically offer less than six weeks, and it's only partially paid. Let's get a look at your money at this moment, and the markets are ah, they're just taking a beating this morning. The Dow is off three. Actually, it's off four hundred five now. That's one full percent. We're at thirty eight thousand four seventy eight. S&P's off 50. That's one full percent. The Nasdaq down 173, which is one and a tenth. That's what you call ugly. Uh, we'll see if the road.